What is up, everyone? Welcome to EVAC uh, Adelaide Uni, or now Orvga. Um, we've got a melee tournament. It's the 3rd of May, 2024. I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to have some gamers here, hopefully gaming the night away. Um, yeah, my name is Kaiser. We'll have some people coming up into the bracket very shortly. But in the meantime, uh, just stick around while we get set up and add people to the bracket, hopefully. All right, one moment, please. One moment, please. Create a tournament. Melee vac number four. Number four, melee vac for 2024 is available. Single stage, double of them. How many people? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, cool. We're doing bracket today, baby. I hate that you have to set a start time on fucking challenge. It's really annoying. Advanced options give Kaiser some permissions. Kaiser mode. Cool. Save and continue. Melee. Okay, save and continue. Go participants. And then we should be good. Okay, be right back.
Okay, gang, what's up? What's up? What's up? Hello, everybody. How are we going? Um, let me know if the audio is fine, if I need to turn the game or the uh, microphones up or down, and I will do so accordingly. Um, but it seems like we're doing all right so far. The, the game is quite loud, though. I will just adjust that a teensy tiny bit. All right, stream, chat, how are we going? It's Kaiser on the mic. Um, I have a match to play. I have to play yellow in a second. But if you're in here, please let me know if the microphones or the... Um, uh, let me know if the microphones or the, uh, the game needs to go up or down. If the audio is fine. Alright, looks like we got someone who wants to be let in. Or a few people. Uh, I'll be back. Um. Cool. Alright. Okay, be right back. I've probably got games to play or something. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I actually also need to share the stream out on Facebook as well because I'm I'm like that, and I still share to Facebook. That's what that's what it's about, you know. Oops. Whip, whip. Check out the guns on Caleb. <laughs> so real, Tish. <dude. laughs> so real. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's insane. Why would you say that? Um, yeah, gang, let me know if I need to turn the microphone or the game volume. I'll adjust it accordingly. I think it's fine at the moment, but yeah, let me know. Let me know. All right, Caleb with a game one victory. Um, All best of five, by the way. Yeah. Swaggy. It's like Captain Falcon is playing himself. He's just natty. All right, Caleb with a game one victory. Going to FD. Huge stage for Rizaro Flame. Tish, tell me if the audio is good. Tish, tell me if I need to turn the microphones or the game up or down. I'm, I'm in the dark here, bro. I'm fucking... Audio is good? Okay, dope. Yeah, let me know. Let me know if the game is too quiet or too loud. Alright, that it seems fine, though. Um, melee streams. Alright, 
maybe game slightly down, he says. Okay. I rock with you. How's that, homeboy? That good? Like, right... I'm feeling, like, right there. W what about you? That sound alright? If it does, I'm gonna hop off the stream, I guess. Um... Oh my god, Tishlov with the Prime resub. You've been subscribed for six months? Are you my ride or die right now? You're crazy. Alright, thank you. Thank you, Tish. Appreciate it. That's my dog. That's my dog. Okay. Um. Yeah, I should probably play yellow. I'll get someone else to hold this shit down, maybe. Um. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna go play yellow. <laughs> oh, wait. No, my... Controllers on the stream setup, so I have to wait anyway. We're all good. We're gonna wait. We're gonna wait. All right. The clouds finished with the game. I assume it was a 3 0. Let's pop that in there. One, two, three. Bang, bang, bang. McLeod over Limp Biscuit, Tramp Stamp. Huge victory. Uh, and you have to play the loser of these two. I think I can guess. Yeah, I think I can guess. Oh my god, the reverse Nair? That's insane! Come on, Caleb. Finish it up. And he's not going to finish it up. What about the four yeah. bears? Okay. One of the bears will hit. You just keep doing bears. <laughs> See? <laughs> he knew! <laughs> it's an edge guard. Look! <laughs> <laughs> have you t it's like the pose where it's like, wondering what to have for dinner? Try two beers. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> That's this Caleb's like, wondering what to do for edge guard? Edge guard try, try four bears. <laughs> <laughs> he You're just kept bearing. Yeah, like he's, he's so <laughs> smart. He's actually ridiculous. Just think of uh, fucking finding Nemo. Just keep bearing. Just keep bearing. Oh, he, he's on that. <laughs> you know what? It hasn't quite taken the start because given the Kuro Bizarro flame, it's not where I come back here. That was a decent game one, but this is looking uber tight for some reason. Oh, the Bizarro has flame is up beat into the Caleb bear. Interesting. Oh. Alright, okay, Caleb. So, plot Ooh, twist. Not a bear. I didn't expect that. <laughs> <laughs> plot twist. I actually have to wait for this, uh, this set because my controller is on stream right now. Ah, I so see. I see. I see. Well, I have to wait for this game rather, and then I'll go get it. And that then I'll is go play yellow. Fine. Shout out to yellow. Shout out to yellow. Shout out to Mia for entering too. Yeah. No, it's actually so nice. Shout out to the the fodder today. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't gonna say it. <laughs> Hey, Yellow, yellow kind of Yellow's taken oh. names before. Yeah, it's true. Yellow's beat. taken this girl's name. Oh my god. Beat, yeah, Beat Riz. Swagman. Beat, beat uh, number four, Vic PR online. Wait, who's number four, Vic PR? Chibay. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course, of course, of course, of course. So dope. Alright, okay, I gotta get my controller. Okay, be right back. Let's go, Caleb. Alright, so I think the adaptation should be more bears. Hi Tish, how are you tonight if you're still here? I miss you Tish. How's Melbourne been treating you? Five bears, exactly. Instead of edge guarding with four bears, I think the fifth bear is just what's missing. You'd never expect it. RTC not quite working. Hello Jake, are you here to hop on commentary with me to watch Caleb Bear? Did you watch either of the first two games at all? Um, no, how's it going? Oh, Caleb yeah. was bearing. He's cooked. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh so that was an edge guard situation, and then, like, Caleb just did, like, five bears. Two off the ledge, and then two on stage. Oh and then, God. I'm sorry, I got hit. That's fantastic. Yeah. That's, that's very unlike him. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh. Yeah, I always get. Um, maybe Ooh, it was once. That knee has, like, come in clutch, because you expect <laughs> bear, and then he yeah. does knee. <laughs> no, it's, it's yeah. like, unironically, he does, like, space bear, and then you did knee instead. It's actually kind of good. I didn't expect knee there. I've been, yeah, chastised by coffee so many times. Like, Why don't you bear more? It's such a weedy move. You should use it all the time. And yeah, he's right. Bear's <laughs> quite good. Oh, uh, I like those stomps. Triple. The, stomp, <laughs> the triple's ambitious. Caleb's kind of just like, I feel like it's a little BM from Caleb this time. It's, it's the drip, right? a little bit, Yeah, I know. <laughs> There's a little bit of sass coming out of Caleb. This, doesn't, this feels like cocky Caleb. Uh, Ooh, that yes. pivot stop was insane. He's cooking. The pivot was really good. That was, actually, that was actually just really well placed. Nice. Let's go, Caleb. This was, I think, 
I don't want to take all of the credit for Caleb clearly doing all the work here. But what did you do, Scalpy? How did you? How did I you said. Foster this? I said at one point, Caleb could be the best player in Australia if, like, halfway through every single set, he just thought to himself, "It's so good to play games with my friends." And just untilted <laughs> himself, just like shook the wrinkles out. I've been trying. <laughs> you have to understand. I've been. I've been trying to explain this concept to Caleb for a long time. <laughs> oh my god! What the oh no. fuck was that interaction? That was like a burn into like a phantom into Oof. like an edge. <laughs> Fox my cloud, everybody. It's so hard to like come back from that and be like, yeah, that's just, you know, rational. That's fair. Yeah, no, it's just like, it's like, what the fuck is going on? Ooh, that mean. You have to hit those. All right, Caleb, if you watch this VOD back, which you won't because it's the first from Zara Flame, unless you lose, you like, if you down throw someone and you read a tech, it must hit. <laughs> there's like, no missed tech. There is, there is no, like, no, it's like, if you read what tech your opponent's going to do as Captain Falcon off a throw, you have to hit the move. That is like two years ago. Bears, 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 bears. Yeah, honestly. <gasps> oh, yeah. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> yes, this is Scalpy on the mic, Wade. Good to see you, mate. Thanks Ooh, for coming one knee. Oh. oh, I love the knee grab there. All right. Okay, getting that was an awful um, a B, but the angle going to catch Caleb's stomp and going to lead to a punish, taking like 40. <gasps> oh, Fortunately, dash back out of crouch. Oh. <laughs> oh, that knee's been brutal. Yep. Oh my god. Stop hitting yourself. Oh, and oh. the ledge dash. Caleb. She could not stop hitting herself. He is just unstoppable. Um. Oh, it's me and Kath now. Hell yeah, you guys are on stream? Fuck yeah. You're not seeing my Roy. It's never happening. That's illegal. Do we still have a Jess? Uh, no, nah, she had no, it. No, didn't get to see <laughs> didn't get to see Jake's Jess. That would have been so hype. I mean Jake uh. Kath. <laughs> That's for the best. <laughs> Nah, I believe it. I believe in Jake's right. promise here. Good to see us. Um, 30. Rizarro Flame, you will have Limp Biscuit Tramp Stamp. <laughs> you will have, you guys are playing each other. Go ahead, yep, enjoy. Let's fix these cameras. Oh, let's un unfuck these cameras. There we go. There's more Kath. How do we? All right, we have Catherine versus Scalpy. Catherine, and then Scalpy. Huh. That's magic. And zero zero, that's crazy. Um Jake took Catherine to game five last last time or the time before, I don't remember. But either way, Jake's been getting a lot better. Catherine. Still Catherine. Pretty good. Oh, I just saw the Jake message in chat, that's cute. Let's go, Jake. So much Jake. All right, how are we gonna finish this? We're not. Caleb, would you like to hop on commentary? Yeah. 
Caleb just walks away. We'll be on the stream next, Caleb. I love how I ask if Caleb wants to get on commentary. He just like, he just like looks at me and just walks away. One day that boy will learn to communicate. One day, one day. All right, what do we got? The fair? I love the fair there. Unfortunately, not gonna connect. Oh, so smart. Jake hits my O. Gets all happy about it. Cute. I love seeing 39% off a grab here. Oh, side B not the option there. And that little jump in, a little bit greedy. Peach's moves pretty good. Excellent there. We'll take 40 off that. But unfortunately, we weren't going any further. And Catherine might take this all the way to the bank. But she gets a get up attack. He gets get <laughs> but his stock is gone while I looked away. Scalpy, kind of a goat. All right, we're going to up B. Are we going to go in? We are going to go in. Kath not covering it particularly well. Jake just jumping forward. A little bit dangerous there. Catherine with the empty float and then the grab. I'd love to see an up here. It doesn't matter. Nair kills anyway. And we're onto a fresh stock. The invincibility not used particularly well. I think that's something all the um, the mid-level Falcons can work on. is like being a lot more oppressive with your invincibility. I love the little weights in Jake's punish right now. They're getting him so much. Back in center. The turn up. The, the, I love the Nair to lead off the tournament. And Kath, a little bit patient, not over committing there. Very smart. Gonna get him a little bit more damage. Another Nair off stage, that's good. Scalpy, oh, I don't like how low he dropped there. I don't love that Falcon kick, but it's gonna get him back because Catherine misses the tournament. Neither connecting. Okay, I, I thought Catherine almost lost his jump. But, not quite. Alright. Off ledge, what do we got? Tournament winner, gonna get him back. Unfortunately, gonna be knocked off stage with a nair. Big up air there, but unfortunately, not gonna be able to get much off it. That knee somehow connects. How did we end up with Pokemon Stadium game one? I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> I just, as my mind, my mind like processed that three minutes into this game, but you know what? We love Catherine. I feel like we've died twice to Pokemon Stadium here. And we haven't gotten anything out of it. Insane knee! Insane up air! Oh! If that stomp wasn't... Oh, just needed a little bit earlier there, but the idea was great. Alright, th being awful off the ledge this whole set might cost him game one. DI not quite there. We like the high... Oh, the little delay on the Nair going to take game one. Catherine Clutch. Jake is like one step away from having a full edge guard punish flow chart, but going to be able to get the ledge trap. Honestly, looking better than Caleb at the in the corner. When Catherine's in the corner, I'm more scared for Catherine. Than, I'm more scared for Catherine than when I when I watch Caleb play. Oh, that stomp was great too. That bear. Oh, I love that grab too. Can we link the second knee? Not quite. Side B works out there. Honestly, good option. Catherine had no jump, but not taking advantage of the weirdest edge cancel I've ever seen, but kind of makes it work. Up B. More people should be watching this, Jake. Oh my god, that linked. Okay. Decisive uh, lead by Jake in game two. Finally gets a ledge dash, however, there was almost no invincibility on that. Jake going a bit too low on those ledge dashes. Need to practice them a little bit more. Yeah, these ledge dashes are um, sketchy. Honestly, it'd be better using a lot more like aerial, like nair from ledge with different drifts. All 
Um, the knee, not quite a connect. Huge stomp. Ooh, the now one going to be the eight out of... Oh! I was like, there's a knee here, but you have to be so confident. Jake was. Very much enjoying watching Caleb's expression as this game's going. Sitting back there watching. It's very cute. What happens? Oh no. Let's have a look. Limp Biscuit Tramp Stamp is now... Congratulations to Rosara Flame. You will play the loser of eight, which is a lot of games to be played. <laughs> like the Kai Catherine side of bracket. Or maybe the Kai Ka Scalpy side of bracket. Would you like to join me or are you chilling? Hell yeah. Scalpy takes clean game two. Looking good, by the way. Love having Rosario Flame here. Who do you go for in the set? In this set, I don't know. I, I don't feel know. like, uh, to a certain extent, oh, this is... This is the, the big chain grab for this job. Yeah, Catherine normally is pretty good on the chain grabs on FD, not perfect though. Yeah, decent. Uh, yeah. He's decent. Um, scoreboard and game. I want all the best for Scalpy, but at the same time, I've got to be a realist and go for Catherine this mm. time. Scalpy took Cath to game 5 last time. Yeah. And uh, game two looks good, like real good. It was like a two stop off like, I think it was like one or two zero to death in there. A lot of like nasty links. Scalby's getting better, especially best Peach. Yeah. Oh, oh, great grab there. And Catherine does not have those, uh, the DI. Mm. How are you feeling playing melee tonight? I'm feeling good. Hell I yeah. feel like it's always one of those things where the more effort I put into improving, temporarily, the worse I get. Yeah, that's... It's like the long-term results, and I know that, like, I don't know, even if I get shit on by literally everyone tonight, it's like, I really don't care because I'm proud of the work that I've been doing. Yeah, you've started the process of improving. Yeah, it's, it's just like, that's I've been spending so much time grinding, not only just, like, unranked and ranked, but also just, like, labbing things out, nice. and taking notes. Uh, doing like VOD reviews. Hell yeah, that stuff. makes me so and happy to like, hear. If I'm getting like red, if like <laughs> Caleb is just bombing knees into the corner, hitting it every time, and I'm like, I'm okay with this. You know what? Because I know what's happening on the screen. I feel like there's a process for improve. That makes me and really I know happy to hear. something where it's like, I think part of it is when you're really putting in that effort to improve is that it, it kind of overwhelms your mental stack at yep. the moment as you're trying to incorporate new things into it. And I think that Falcon especially is like a lot of the time where, it's, you know, if I'm just on unranked, I can just like power shield a stomp or ID every single time. Sure. But it's like when you're trying to really incorporate everything. Yeah, it gets a lot it, harder. Yeah. No, I definitely felt that, especially on the come up. Something um, I think would be good for you to focus is um, just focus on the new things you're trying to put in. Yeah. Where it's just like be happy with your sets if you put in like something you worked on or you saw a situation differently and you handled yeah. it differently. That's what you should be really trying to, try to do. That's one thing that, believe it or not, it's good advice, but the way that I remembered it best is that I remember I was trying to learn to skate, and it was uh, I was with Kate and Swag. Yep. Uh, and then they were saying, I think uh, because actually wait, I've forgotten what Kate's screen name is. Oh, fuck it. Kate um, it's just Kate. Just Kate. Actually, it is. Yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, Kate was just like, yeah, the trick to learning how to skate is only learn one trick at a time. Yep. And I was just like, yeah, that's the exact same with Melee. I yeah, feel like is. you've got to learn one trick at a time. Zane's yeah. talked about this a lot. Yeah, I don't know. There's so much stuff like that where it's crossover from different fields into improving in Melee. Where it's just like, I'm watching an analytical video on Hi, whatever. Hi, Do you have a score to report for me? Let's go yellow. Yeah, FDs, FDs. Uh, you got two FD games? Yeah. Why is it not loading? That is... Yeah. Loser of this. Oh, that's an exciting set. If it's, uh, if it's Scalpy. We'll see, though, because Scalpy looks good on not FD. Like, real good. Like, game one was close on Stadium. Game two was an ownage on Yoshi's. And game three was really controlling the cat. So, we'll see what happens. 
There's like a small spot where Scalpy is just a little bit slow, or the instant knees are just not the play. It's like we, I think Scalpy needs to learn the spots where you delay the knee a little bit more so you land it. La actually land the strong knee and land it close to the ground. Mm. Big stitch from Kath, but not picked up. Yeah, Falcon's recovery just feels like uh, it takes very little effort for labbing, and you can just cover every option every time. So Kinda. Yeah, you can in the easy spots, but there's a lot of there's a lot more ambiguous spots and ways to make it harder. It's just all the duck and suck. Wait, is it just me or is Scalpy actually kind of clean with it? Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. So that's, uh, that's not just you. I've been I've been saying like game two, there were like multiple zero to deaths of like legitimately good grab combos. It was crazy. So true, your CZ. Well, it's not your CZ. It's just H then S then. Wait, you is that Hearthstone or is that something else? What's the HS? I'm curious. Maybe like headshot if it's CS. No, actually, no. CS it's players don't. Have yeah, I was trying to think. And Herbs and spices. Uh, That's crazy. That's crazy lore right there. Thank you for that, y'all. How are you feeling tonight? Ooh, that fair? Not gonna be it. If that was a slap dash, you actually get a punish off that. But Kath, not, not in that mindset. Oh. Sorry, slap dash. So you, because fair auto cancels until like it comes out. If you double jump fast fall, you can like quickly fall to the ground with like drift and then instantly actionable. So if you're in that like that that down throw, uh, you can like diagonally jump down to the ground and the knee lands in front of you and you double. Okay. So there we go. We're teaching teaching Peach Tech. Tonight. Yeah. I but feel like that's one thing that I need Ooh. to improve learning teach. Test. That down throw is insane. I'm stealing that. That cast down Oh, no. And that's the end of the set. Good effort by Scalpy, though. I'm excited to see the next set. Um, and then I'll have Caleb on stream, I suppose. Thank you so much for talking to me. It's good. I, it makes me really happy to hear like you talk about the game and your mindset right now. It's it's huge improvement. I'm excited to see what you do with it. All right. So... I have no idea who's coming up next. I believe it's, yeah, McLeod Caleb. Kai, are you hopping on comms? Uh, Sorry, what was that? I was just asking if you were hopping on the comms. I yeah. Know. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm good. hopping on, it's all good. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. That's pretty good. good. Let me ch crank my ears up a bit. Huh? Uh, you have to wait, I think. Oh no, you have me next. You have me next on stream. That 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 actually makes more stream. That actually makes way more sense. It was three one here, if I wasn't mistaken. Yeah. Yeah, three one. Dope. Okay, so yeah, McLeod and Caleb up next, which is kind of massive. You don't really see this one too often, if I'm being honest. Kind of cool. Mm. Um, I don't know what ports they're in just yet, so this is going to be interesting. Uh, so when is Sammy's here? So what have you been up to? Uh, not much, just grinding melee. <laughs> nice, <laughs> good, <laughs> good stuff. Have you been playing much ranked? Yeah, a lot of ranked, a yeah? lot of unranked. Cool. I don't know. It's, um, man, I, it's a bit sad because I like to do my grinding in the morning. Ah, you know? uh, like yeah, the yeah, yeah. And it's just like, the queues are so dead in the They're morning. They're very so bad in the morning, like, yeah. actual. But, oh well, you just gotta live with no it. Contest. Well, yeah, it's not the worst thing in the world. I feel like um, there was a period, like last May, last year actually, I was um, I was doing my grind at like <laughs> like 3 a.m. actually. Yeah. <laughs> kind of insane. Uh, one second, I just have to change this camera a bit. Ooh, da, 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 da. Caleb is a massive hand warmers enthusiast. Oh yeah. I well, it. I would have to. You would have to be if you're Falcon. I feel like. I don't know. There's something about the character that's like, gotta. Ha I gotta be like hella actionable. Yeah. But also, you know, Fobs. Fuck it. I feel like any character is like. But once you get good enough, it's just like. I don't know. But I think also it depends on some people. Like, I feel like it's a player-to-player -player thing. Some people can just hold on, pop on the setup and be fine. Yeah. Oh, I feel like I fuck. always have a time to warm I just realized I need to have my meds. Because I'm oh, also yeah. working tonight at 11. Okay. It's going to be very funny. So hopefully we wrap up here before, like, 10. So I have half hour to, like, pack up. Yeah. We'll see. Um, we have a bunch of other games here today as well. And some people were playing the... Um, the 3D 
King of Fighters that was released on like the PlayStation 2 uh, from ages back because they're running a tournament at BAM for some reason. That's interesting. I have never played like any of those 3D fighters. I remember being very young and having a PS2 and playing Soul Calibur 3. Good choice, actually. Uh, That's a really good Soul Calibur. That was like the one that I feel like uh, there was hella people like going to tournaments for mm. way back in the day. Like it was like a, it used to be like actual like Evo, like main stage kind of game. Yeah. You know who's really good? What country's really good at Soul Calibur? Which country? France. I did not know that. France it's is France is the Soul Calibur country. It's insane. It's strange how that kind of happens with different like games or like uh, franchises. Right? It's like Mexico is king of fighters. Yes. France oh my god. Is, uh, oh. Soul Calibur. You know what? I'd love to keep talking about this, but Caleb but is uh, gaming quite hard right now, and he's oh, <laughs> the dash attack phantom, by the way. <laughs> yeah, Caleb is kind of gaming hard right now. Um, unlike the internet <laughs> at the moment, which is not doing the opposite. I might. What if I? Uh, okay, I might put this in a different port, maybe. I don't know if that's gonna help it. Yeah, disconnect the desk. That's so cool. Alright, be right one second. I knew I should have put it in here the first time around. But hey. Ah, oh, fuck's sake, I did. Shit. Whoopsie. Fuck. Alright, uh, let me do. Fuck. This is bad. <laughs> this is bad. Yeah, we're, we're back on stream, however, we've lost the game footage. So I have to wait until I hear someone cock it, and then we, uh, we're going to disconnect the capture card and reconnect it. Is this one? Yeah. Okay, waiting for someone to die, waiting for someone to die. I don't think that was the one. Ah, <laughs> oh, well. Oh, it wasn't, no. Uh, Trial and error, just keep on pulling out and putting in tugs until it works. Yeah, that's only going to end well after all. Yeah. That should have been it. What the hell? Okay, if, what if I do this and it... Okay, we might just have to wait. Is it a different frame on stream every time? Alright, there you go. What's going on with the setup right now, Kai? There we go. We're good. Sorry about that, gang. You're all good. <laughs> okay. So, we've got internet back. We've got the game back. The cloud's up one game. Very nice. Ah, uh, I love streaming. It's so much yeah. fun. This is a true story. Recently, I was considering like starting my own stream, mm -hmm. and just like because I'm just doing that grinding melee, I may as well just have people like be able to yeah. sit there and chat, and especially to be able to like talk to other melee players and get their opinion on stuff to improve. But it's just like it's so difficult just getting into streaming and then like I don't know having stream lag and all that. But oh well. Yeah, like. No matter which way you do it, unless you spend a hell, like, unless you have a secondary PC um, dedicated to streaming stuff on another PC, you're always going to incur some compromise there, right? Yeah. Because, um, like, even for me, right, like, I have, like, I'm the biggest stickler on it, and uh, I will always do my best to decrease latency as much as possible. But, like, I know that it's not the same as when I'm not streaming. Like, yeah. straight up. Um, but, like, you know. You make it work. It's not that. It's not that it's that noticeable, but um, you know, it's sort of like you can you can make it work. Ah, oh, that's what went out. Right. Sure. Let me get that back up. Um. No, but streaming is definitely like you have to like the end product a lot because to get there, it's like just I don't know. You might you might just get owned in a hundred different ways that you still don't know why. But it's just like okay, doesn't want to work today. Sorry. Yeah. You'll be back in a sec. Yeah, sure. 
Nice combo. Mm. What? Know. DI, holy shit. It's an interesting choice to do what, like a short up fair when you have them on like a misstep. Not sure if that was trying to read a tech place, but I don't know. So Peach Caleb or McLeod? Caleb. I can never tell whenever Peach has like landing lag or not. I think I like don't know <laughs> Peach's mechanics doesn't. at all. So, so well, all cool. you need to know is that if she does anything out of flow, it's regular landing, which is four frames. Yeah. If she does something not out of flow, she takes L cancel lag. But all her grounded moves and all, oh my god. And even on L cancel, oh my god, the chain grab too. Come on, Caleb. Oh! Okay, uh, Caleb's kind of cooking. But yeah, those are the main things. It's like, all of her grounded shit is just so actionable. But, oh god damn it. <laughs> Wait. Persevere. Fuck. Oh, I hate this shit. Uh, uh, okay. Let me think. Sorry to Caleb. I really do apologize to Caleb for this mishandling. Ah, there it is. Hmm. Fuck. Um. I'm sorry. Interesting. Alright, we're good. Gonna keep on happening, it but shouldn't, yeah. but it's just because uh, USB 3 buses are like that. Or like just USB buses are like that. Hmm. It's oh. too much bandwidth getting transferred at once. Yeah. Um, and it's just because, um, yeah, it's just the capture card I'm using. It's sort of like that. But it's also, you know, actually, you know what? It was a, it was all part of my uh, long con strat to momentum cancel with McLeod here uh, as hard as possible so that we get a Caleb win on the board. Yeah. That was a crazy combo. I really appreciate a good hack stash, but I feel as though, like, man, these, these Captain Falcon players, they just need a hack stash into ledge dash. Stop trying to do funny things with, like, instant they'll do, jump. They'll do uh, hack stash until you burn their double jump. Yeah. And I'm like, I mean, what are you like, doing? Just what ledge are you dash. doing? That's the point of doing yeah. it. Yeah. Oh! Okay. What a great RB. Because like I'm, I've been so like conditioned from playing maths for like my whole life, and that like that double jump is sacred, and you should not be using it to get off the ledge like that. Yeah. Like you need to preserve that, especially against if you're Falcon versus Peach, if you're Falco versus Moth. Oh, let's go, Caleb gets the fucking grab. He's getting favorable traits, which is like good in this matchup. Nice. Ooh. Oh, okay. oh, oh, weak one. Okay. That's it. That's it. Oh, Caleb nice. brings it to last stock. All right. Yeah, this he goes for the Lord Stomp and fails. He went for a bit too early. I mean, the key to the Lord Stomp is that it is sort of a reaction, right? You don't want to, you don't want to just do it preemptively most of the time. All right, he gets around the turn up. He gets back with the weak knee, and oh. there's the double jump again. It's okay, he can't. <laughs> and he loses yeah. the game. That's all right. I don't think Caleb played too bad there, but um, Kath is currently MIA. Uh, Kath is MIA for like a minute. We'll see where she is. And then me right. and her, uh, like, I think it's me, Kath, at some point. Uh, well, no, it's, it's me, me Kath, you, and Kath. then, uh, yes, you're right. Yeah. Um, Yellow and Scalpy are locked in a duel of fates right now. But that's a 3 0 to McLeod here, which is, um, to be expected at this point. But Kayla's got some good stuff to look back on there. Well, at least for the games that was, like, active. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I mean, hopefully we don't get a dropout again. You know, praying. But I think we should be fine. Right. Um, I'll just get my shit set up here before I go on. And then we'll go for it from there. Catherine. Uh, Daisy. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, I want port one, so I'm going to be in the office chair. So, yeah, that works. Cool beans. Alright. Oh, 
Okay, chat, we're just waiting for games. I don't know really what to talk about. I'm not a streamer by nature. I know I said that I want to stream, but man, it really is to a, a performative art to a certain degree. Oh well. Alright, Kath Kaiser. Let's see how this goes. I think uh, Kaiser's expected to win. I think it could go either way. I feel that uh, Marco Peach is what? It's generally considered e even. Salco wins in neutral, Peach wins in punish. And I feel like. I don't know. I feel like just from playing these two players, the play styles that I can feel out from them, I feel like Kaiser just kind of has this. I don't see how Cat could really take it, but we'll see. I always have faith. played Kaiser, I thought the yawn was like a special offense to me, as in like, oh, this person's so easy, you can just sleep on them. Uh, but it's absolutely not. They just run it at everything, so it's kind of like, you know, I don't know. Hello, Yellow, would you like to come on comms? Everyone, welcome Yellow onto Hello. the stream. How you going? Pretty good. It's pretty trippy for the first time hearing the voices through the headphones. Huh? Oh, I'm up again? Oh, oh wait, fuck. Already. My bad. Oh, see ya. Alright, see ya. <laughs> Alright, the game immediately starts with like 20% worth of lasers into Falco almost just dying. Yep. Ooh, alright, what do you get out of this? Not quite. How you going, Scalpy? Going on. All right. Pretty standard game so far. It's um, I'm pretty <laughs> like the first game started off with just kinds of lasering for like 30 percent. Oh, <laughs> so it was like just beautiful. Yeah, it's <laughs> the matchup being played out to the logical conclusion. <laughs> What's uh, is it? Has there been a game already? Or? There has not been a game already. Oh, this, this is game, is game one. one. Oh my god. Falco might be dead. Yeah. Um, oh. All right. Oh, beautiful game. Mm. Yeah, Peach is kind of hard to combo like that, where she just has this kind of weight where that those kind of down air, it's not like Marth where you can get those kind of down air yeah. follow-ups. She just gets that hit stun too early. <laughs> she's got that like, kind of, flo like she's like floaty, but she's not like, like Marth and Sheik are fun, you can kind of like extrapolate the punish game across a bit, like it transfers a little. Yeah. Fox and Falco, same thing. Like Peach doesn't, I don't know if there's anyone who's got like the same characteristics as Peach. It's like an easy analog to combo. Yeah. It always reminds me of, I was watching a Sage Jam video and I think it was talking about how, and a lot of, that was a really dominant game mode, but anyway. Yeah, Pi is scary. Yeah. In the uh, Sage Jam video, he was talking about how in a lot of older games, it's kind of like, oh yeah, the, you'll have the floaty combo, but there'll only be like three floaties in the game and it won't work against one of them. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I was just like, yeah, that's right. Like. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Kai puts himself into the bin. Yeah. Oh, it happens. That's the spacey tags coming through. That's a really nice shorten. Um, yeah, Catherine doesn't cover ledge much, but... Uh, yeah. I can understand why sometimes. At least in friendlies. Uh, sorry? I can understand why sometimes. Like, it's especially Falco. Like, if he snaps side Bs and you just fall into the abyss, it does feel terrible. Yeah, but I feel like it's just. I don't know. There's a flow chart 
And, you know, people develop their own flowcharts just by playing, but a lot of the time there's just an optimal flowchart that has been found that's objectively <laughs> the best. And it's like, yeah. there's no reason to reinvent the wheel when there's something that, you know, maybe is harder to execute, maybe is, like, covers a different three, you know, like with yeah. Tete's options, where it's just like, you can do this thing that covers 50% of the options or the other thing that covers 50%, <laughs> yeah. and one of them's harder to execute than the other. So you should go for the yeah. other so it's like, <laughs> yeah, it's like a lot of the time people will default to the easier one, even on the harder one is just like what you should be going for in that situation. Mm. I think the classic example is when it's just like a tech chase scenario where they hit knit close to the ledge such that if they like uh, if they roll away, the distance gets cut off by the ledge. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. So it's like you can, there's very often times where you have to go for like the three uh, three out of four options versus the roll in, yeah. and that's the mix. And it's like people still default to the regular, like either covering tech in place, miss tech, or the tech rolls. Yeah. But it's just that situational awareness that you have to get through. It's so hard, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. But it's just, I don't know. It's one of those things like Falcon should always, in that exact situation where you down throw and they like, tech into the corner and they're in that sort of mix up your spot, you can actually like teeter cancel, knee, pivot grab, and you cover like, everything, I think. I think it's actually like four out of four. It's fun. Yeah. Absolutely. But there's like, you, you don't think about it until you're in that situation and then you're like, oh wait, hold on, that was a bad idea. Like, I, I wasn't ready to do this or... Um, game is hard. By the way, Kaiser died on his last, last stock. He was just paying from, taxes, man. From lasering the wrong direction. Which makes me think, <laughs> is the control of the problem? Is there a little bit of stack back going on? So I'm just watching now. We'll see if it comes up again, but there might be a bit of snapback in that punch. Oh, well, but that's game two. Irrelevant, because Kai just does this. Oh, I don't know. There's always little things like that, especially when you're on punch, where it's just like, well, is it snapping back? Is it not? <laughs> you get gaslit by your controller a little bit. Yeah, but yeah well, I don't we know. don't. As much. Yeah, because we're on Fox. <laughs> I don't know, I've been trying to learn the game a little bit on, like, because I have a conch at my home. Mm. It's just like I've been trying to, like, at least be able to use it a little bit. Yeah, in uh, case okay, someone starts least, talking shit. Like. Well, yeah, but it's also to just, like, not only character empathy, but just, like, you know, having, uh, understanding, like, the technical issues other players go through. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, that conch is just, like, uh, it can't shield drop in one direction. It has like uh, snapback sometimes. But so it's just like, OEM. Yeah, it is. But yeah, those kind of things, it's just like hard to fix. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah, and also whenever you shield drop even in the right direction, you have to press it really hard if you press it too soft. <laughs> That's one thing where it's like uh, some conches I've found that in order to shield drop on them, you need to be really light, others you need to be really uh, hard into it. Yeah. Yeah. Mine's on. Yeah, I'm getting fobs soon. I got the boards ordered, I just gotta wait and then build them. Um, I got two sticks in mine from like, I got like six controllers in my own <laughs> gut for them. I'm very excited to have a, like, have a good controller. Oh my, oh, beautiful combo. That's interesting, because I like, I think in nine out of ten times, there are, I'd bet that he'd go for the off the ceiling kill. Mm. I really likes to just sort of escort them up into the pearly gates. Like he loves the, you know, loves going for the up air off the edge. Loves going for the shine kills. Interesting to see him refrain there and go for down air. Yeah, very interesting to watch guys. Uh, kind of the way that they edge guard Peach, because it's relatively similar on Fox. Of course, like the falling speeds and whatever. But the basic mind games of I'm going to jump up and back air. You actually know I'm going to fall back down. <laughs> yeah. Is very similar. But, yeah, nice combo. Ooh. Oh, he's cooking. Oh, he's cooking. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was a read on the roll away because, like, if you're just in run there, I don't know if that's reactable. Yeah. I think Ooh. it would have been. I think this is the point in the game where, like, Kai's feeling pretty comfortable about some of Cat's habits. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, where? Was oh. That? that was not. Who? What? <laughs> I don't know how that works. Write that down. Write that down. <laughs> yeah. It might have been like the intangible leggies with the, the hitbox coming out. I'm trying to think if it... Actually, no, it couldn't have been an air-to-ground transition because you would have been put into knockdown. Well, Falco's like, you know how his legs go intangible. Yeah. It might have been like dipping under and like getting hit by one at the same time. I don't know, that was... Oh my god, hi, I want to walk up. Well, that was a shellacking. That was...
Jesus as they say in the business. Is it? Is that what we say? Yeah, a shellacking. <laughs> a shellacking. I'm pretty sure I work in the boat making industry. That's why <laughs> I say that. <laughs> Is shellacking a boat making thing? I'm I don't know, you just started <laughs> saying it. I'm just here for the ride. Alright. Jeez. Oh, well, I'm up against Kath now, so uh... Did you read that when you just ran in and started shining for dear life? R31, yellow's way. Dude whipped me, it was uh... Oof. Do you have uh, yeah, Alrighty, I... Good oh. luck, soldier. <laughs> Got this. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> howdy, howdy. So many things going on today. How you going? Oh my god. Good. You're tired? <laughs> I am sleepy in the soul. Oh, aren't we all? Yeah, well, you uh, especially. Jesus. Aren't we all? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <What> the fuck? <laughs> exactly, exactly. I gotta fucking adjust the camera. <laughs> Do you want them just more center frame? Oh, you've got a view on there? Yeah, that's alright. You do. <laughs> On the ball today, Scalvy. Thank That's you. It. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm starting to get the hang of it. Yeah. It, I tried to make it as simple as possible. I think you've done an exceptional job. Oh, I like Riz's uh, jacket tonight. Yeah. It's really nice. Um, yeah. All right. Chat. Let me know if I need to adjust the audio for microphones yeah. or game. And, Am I coming um, through okay? Yeah. I'm just going to turn you up a little bit. All right. Yeah. Because uh, I had to turn Riz up a bit on this microphone before because of the mask that she's wearing. Yeah. She's no, it's, like, it's hard to hear. Hard to hear through that. But hopefully we should sound alright. Hopefully the game isn't too loud. But if I do need to change it, let me know. <laughs> Who's in chat right now? Say hi. Yeah. I need to know that there's people watching. We've got 12 viewers. Um, so this is Losers Quarters. We're only getting one Losers Quarters up here because we have Caleb and um, Yellow fighting off stream. Hi, hi, hi. That must be brutal. Um, Metabee, yeah. let me know if I need to turn the game volume or the commentator's microphone volume up or down yeah let me know helium hello let me know if i need to turn the <laughs> audio up or down for a microphone or game <laughs> can someone tell me where rosario got the magic girl potion from it says goody uh the magic girl potion is in your heart goody <laughs> That's you have to like reach you have in. To prestige to you have one. like you you have to reach into there, and then um, if you're pure of heart, you'll you'll oh. be able to grab it. It's a bit it, of a in Nimbus there. thing. Yeah. Right. So <laughs> many there's so many anime that's that that's a thing. Where it's like oh, reach into someone's heart, you'll grab something. Sure. Sure thing. There's, like I was just thinking, like it's like this, and then I'm like, ah, oh, there's like this is five like, things this I is could common. think. Yeah. I, like uh, there's like five things I could say. <laughs> the, the two that come to mind are Guilty Crown, okay. Train Wreck of a Show. <laughs> I enjoyed it. I got Hunter Hunter. Um, and th this is a bit of a sleeper hit, a bit of a yeah. bit of a deep cut for the fans. Uh, uh, Dentali, uh, yeah, Dentalian Noshoka. And it's I think it, it it's supposed to be like the the Dentist mystical the, the the mystical library of Dentalion. Also Dentalion's just yeah, or place. Dentarion if uh. you wanna be like that. But uh, she's a she is the library. Oh Jake. so that's she where is the normal. library uh. and so if you're the, the main character, his name is Hugh Anthony Disward. <laughs> that's and he's voiced he's that's voiced really by Daisuke Ono, okay. who's the yep. uh, voice actor for um, you know, like Shizuo, uh, Jotaro. Oh, yeah. That's just, Ono. Just he's, he's, he's in the heaps of things. That's yeah. Ono. Anyway, in the he's, he's the voice of the main character, and his name is Hugh Anthony Disuado. <laughs> and uh, he goes around solving mysteries to deal with apparitions, and then 
He's got a sidekick in his like it's set in, it's set in old timey times by the way. Uh, <laughs> old timey because they, no, they, they 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 <laughs> drive around in a in a sidecar. Oh, so yeah, like yeah. not that old timey, not yeah. rituals. And no. <laughs> like. Hugh, his name is Hugh Anthony Disuado. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, go watch Dentalian no Shoka. Uh, I enjoyed it. Have it on, up on the side. Love love <laughs> that show. Not enough people know about it. Anyway, point is, One he reaches <laughs> into her heart, which is like the sealed library. by a lock and key, yeah. and she, he can bring out a magical book. Oh, and he's okay. like, ah, oh, this is the perfect thing for this moment to solve the mystery. Oh, well, that's convenient. That's yeah, very convenient. Uh, well, she's she's the one who picks it, basically. <laughs> she's, that's her that's her place. She lives in there, but she's also in the real world. Oh, but anyway, Jesus. Anyway, <laughs> cool, cool show. I enjoyed it a lot. I think you've we're done never, an exceptional job unwrapping that. It's that's really it's really good. <laughs> and then Guilty Crown is like, uh, coke yes, but worse. <laughs> <laughs> And more angsty. <laughs> Code gears, but worse. Which is says a lot. Mm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's not. And, and and it doesn't. And it's not made by Clamp, so you don't even get funny character design. Oh. Anyway, no. I've I've wasted enough time game one talking about. We got about two anime. minutes left. It this might is just a, be this is a one yet. one. This is a one one stock of piece game right now. This is yeah, because it's been swinging. Riz had the lead for a bit, and then Cat's patience won out. These guys are playing friendlies earlier, so I'm keen to see how it's uh nice. That's a cat. Unlucky. I don't know if you can hit that angle on box. I need an expert. Oh, shit, not me. God. Can you oh, go actually, further M along than that? Oh, yeah, you can with MY. Easy. Just a little bit more? But yeah. would you have would oh, you've gotten oh. the ledge in that situation? Because oh, no. no, it was, you've got too, to, it was too far down this way. You got to get, so you can get most of the crazy angles because you've got to, yeah, instead yeah. of hitting MX or MY, you've got to hit B. And then you've got to... Because B is also a modifier, but only when you press gotcha. up B. Gotcha. Makes There's sense. Literally, Coffee might be Ooh. the only person on Earth who knows that. Like, besides hacks. Kath also playing on a fierce angle. <laughs> She's not leaning vertically Holy enough Holy shit. Riz just got like the bonk on like the the slant there. Oh. And then like was instantly actionable. I don't know how that worked. That was crazy. I'm gonna watch that back now. I'm, it looked like that at least. I could be wrong. Got yeah, see, that yeah, was, can you hit that angle? Can you hit that? Can you, like, I don't know. Could you have gone high enough that it would have magneted it? Because I feel like it's all positioning. When you're on box, I think it's. I feel like it's all in the positioning. I, when you do your up here. There is a massive amount of angles. Like, there are many, more many, many, more than four. Many. Way in more. each direction. There's more than four in each direction. Have a look, because there's a chart. So, like, if I, if you was to go right, do I have more than four angles to choose from? So that's right, like, as in like, like if I was in if I was going right. Oh, you got way more than that. In I got more than four yeah. angles. Yeah. Right, what was the score, Caleb? Three one to Caleb. Let's go, Caleb. Huge it's day for good. Caleb fans, who will be up against the winner of this. Every day is a great day for Caleb fans. Let's go. FD Master, FD Master Yellow, getting them one game on everyone today. Well, yeah. What's up, Nolly? Thanks for following. I'm glad you like Australians because we're all Australians. <laughs> You're stuck with us. You're stuck with us. We're from South Australia. Home to gamers such as McLeod and SA Nick, but not Nick anymore because he moved and he doesn't play much. And that's, me, Kaiser. That's some um, South African Nicholas, by the way. No, he's South, South American Nick. Uh, yeah. <laughs> There's, so There's also one other bad one, which I won't. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If anyone who knows what SA means. <laughs> Content warning, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, getting smacked and three one. I'm trying to be D A Kai. <laughs> No, I'm not. I'm definitely not. <laughs> SA Nick to SA Vic. Imagine calling your crew Deadly Alliance and you're like DA Wes. It's like, oh, oh, Wes. <laughs> hey, hey, yo. Oh. Oh, let's call ourselves Deadly Alliance, man. DA. Crap. Oh. SA Nick to SA Vic, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, Catherine firmly in the driver's seat of this Yoshi Story game. Like, with this purple shirt. I don't think there's much you can do to this dude. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, right. Indomitable. Oh, my oh, God. Getting hit by that into the reverse up beat. She's cooking. That's kind of Cat a disgusting just, angle. Oh, one of my greatest fears, I reckon. All right, what do we got? We're going back, which is fair enough. I would yeah. go back, but it is... This is Catherine's story. Mm. <laughs> oh, all right. I feel like you gotta know oh, the big man. Out the gate. The stock big one. man. Oh, stock one stitches in the building. Kath pulls out his son. Oh, oh, that's all right. She's just oh. saving it. Oh, oh. It, she's getting, it's gone. It's, it's gone. gone. <laughs> that was so funny. 
Riz was like safety reflector. <laughs> yeah. That was crazy, by the way. Riz does like a full like 10 gallon ledge dash and then rolls and then just does not get hit by the down smash. Brilliant. Yeah. Don't know if you needed to do the roll after that, but hey. Oh, gets back. She's nice. Locked in. Riz like has a, a very pragmatic attitude towards doing the right tech, which is very good to see. I mean like... Uh oh. Uh -oh. oh no, not again. So you can actually like mash something out if you're low enough percent there, but really? like like well you saw it in the last game. I was playing and I got down smashed at like Is zero. That what that was? We did not know what yeah, was going on. Yeah, yeah, I got down smashed at like zero, I held down and held and spam down smash. You genius. It can, it can work. You should tell her about that because we were baffled. Like That's what happened, yeah. I thought it was like some weird thing. You can do anything out of down smash, but you gotta be low enough to send. And it's, oh, obviously yeah, like frames. <laughs> Yeah, you also have to hit it on the frame. That you're actionable. Up smash! Oh, no. That was a scoop. Got custom with it. But that was a scoop moment. That's fine. Oh, that's okay. Uh. Are you going to Phantom, my friend? I am. Oh, that's so good. I'm so excited. I've got to get flights so soon. And I've got to sort Me accommodation too. out so soon. You should do that ASAP. It's just I think if you're doing it any later than May, you are going to... Yeah, su <laughs> significant costs. I'm lucky uh, for accommodation that Jamie will just probably have me over. The homie. Love Jamie. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Goody. <laughs> Goody, you gotta get flights. Yeah. Go, what are you doing? <laughs> what the fuck? You need the flights. They're gonna, they're gonna run out. It's a mentality thing. No. Uh, no. Alright. Let me get. Uh, uh. Alright, sweep him. We, we was that a 3 0? Yeah, that was a 3 -0. My goodness. Sweep him off the screen. We got me and McLeod next. Alright. Sadly, I have to pee really bad, but I'm just going to hold it. It'll be oh, fine. Before you and before you leave. Yeah, yeah, wait, yeah. Uh, I got the, the box coordinates. Oh, lovely. Lovely uh, to hear. That is the up B angles you can use. If you have the time to memorize them. There's fucking heaps. Okay, so you can do five on each notch variation. Cool. So that's, you get like 11 per like left or right. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm, I'm about it. All right. Um, me ten. Yeah, and ten per. Ten? Oh my God. She took my port one. <laughs> <laughs> Why are Australians all baddies? Are y'all cheating hacking? Well, we do have like three out of the... Like, three out of the eight people in this bracket are on Leverless. Yeah, they didn't actually mail enough GameCube right. controllers to Australia. <laughs> There's a shortage. <laughs> yep. Alright. Okay, Caleb's... He's just playing against Yellow. Riz is gaming. Are you still in? Do you want to join me? It's, a. Uh, it's Peach versus Falco again. <laughs> Got to get used to those. Uh. Welcome back. Welcome back. Okay, hold on. No, there's no way I'm gonna. Should we get Kai to put your dials up? Uh, I think it should be fine. Uh, Kai. Kai. Mom. Mom. Kai. Kai. Which dial? Could you Riz's dial? Uh, what did you ask? <laughs> One left. That is as high as it goes. Hmm. One. Oh, wait. This one? Yeah, that's some words. All right, I'm gonna keep on talking yes, now. There we go. All right. It doesn't help that I have a that I have a mask on. All right. Okay. Goody Osu. Rosario, can oh. you answer the question I asked earlier? Let's have a look through. <laughs> Where did I get the magic girl potion <laughs> from? Uh, I can't tell you my sources. Uh, it, 
Yeah. Kai uh, answered for uh, you. I want to see how similar your answer is. What? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell did Kai say? Kai's got a theory. Uh, the real answer is that uh, the just progesterone. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's it. That's <laughs> that is the magic girl potion. <laughs> take it early, take it often. I don't know. Alright, Noli, you were the reason I was saying Australians were all baddies. <laughs> 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 Alright. Have you ever played Catherine in your damn life? Do you understand what it's like? <laughs> Playing Cath uh, is incredible. It, me it makes you love and hate Mallow. She's... Yeah, uh, I'm such a big Cath fan. Just... Oh. Yeah, Cath, I'm a massive fan. I think that the... Uh, I don't know. Uh, that's that was weird. I just couldn't hit a single ledge dash for whatever reason. Yeah. Um, you you hit know. some beautiful, beautiful ledge dashes before. Like yeah. there were there were points. I could feel you sort of peaking as the as your momentum sort of went up and down. Yeah, I have like five second periods where I'm actually decent at the game. <laughs> yeah. Just like maintaining that for an entire set is miserable. <laughs> that's, that's actually why I don't play Fox. <laughs> like. Yeah, it's just something that I need to get more consistent at. And the other thing is that I just need to learn how to hit Peach. Yep. Uh, I don't really know like what neutral openings I should be going for. There's a lot of like uh, drill shine into drill shine just because I don't know what to do <laughs> out of drill shine. Because you up throw them and up throw up air. Everyone thinks up throw up air is true. It's not. No. If they DI away or forward, it's never true. Except if they DI away between 32 and 39 percent wow uh, then you can like forward jump up air them and it's uh and you have to be frame perfect but like it is true but then so it's like the only time that is true is if they know di and if they know di then it's only one timing in order to hit oh. it like frame perfectly Really? But it, uh, it's like not frame perfectly, but it's like Close. quite telegraph, and so it's like it's one of those things. It's kind of similar to math up throw up air, mm. where wow. there is ways to mix up the timing of your up air, yeah, uh, in order to throw off the SDI. But I feel like the risk reward against Peach for that isn't amazing. Mm. So it's like up throw up air is good, but it's kind of like uh, Puff's up throw rest, where you kind of have to catch them sleeping. Yeah. And right after a Peach gets hit by a shine, they have so much time to react. They are not sleeping at all. They know <laughs> not to know the eye. So it's like, yeah. I don't know. And then the other option you have is up smash, but then if it's at too low percent, they like get out of it early and then can just hit CC, you. Back. Smash you. <laughs> and then like, yeah, the up tilt, but I'm not sure at what percent up tilt goes into knockdown. I'm pretty sure it goes into knockdown pretty early. Yeah. Like by I'm pretty sure by 15% it goes into knockdown, and then you can reaction tech chase if they hold down. Mm, uh, definitely and be then, sub 30. Anyway. And then yeah, and then you get an aerial off of it if they don't. But mm. it's like, what aerial do I do? What are the mixes? And it's just I don't know. I have a lot more labbing to do with that one. But. Yeah. Now, Peach is Peach is tricky. She's got yeah. like she's got a, a few weird tools in the toolbox. It's like you're fighting kind of like I don't know. She's just kind of plays like a chess piece. <laughs> yeah. I, I, yeah. She's just got that, that that horizontal sort of positioning, and uh, she's just weird. Yeah. Love Peach. This is very close. I mean, oh, never mind. That hurts. So that that crazy cracked thing Kai did before. Apparently, you can just down smash in the middle of Peach's down smash. Really? You CC the first hit, and then you can just like counteract before oh, it hits you again. Because it doesn't go into knockdown if it's CC. Yeah. yeah How crazy is that? I thought that was so mm -hmm. cool. That's smart. Although, <laughs> that's the thing though. But crouching in front of a Peach is so scary. <laughs> it's just cancelling intentionally. It's like, like <laughs> oh. It's like, I understand the reasoning, but oh mm. my god, you have to have. You have to have a will of steel in <laughs> yeah. order to do that. Holding down in front of a peach, but yeah. I guess it works. Oh, yeah. man. I don't know. That was the other thing that I noticed about my set against Cat. Cat would down smash on a platform, All and time. you just got to react to it and then hit them in the uh, recovery. But I yeah. just wasn't reacting to it in time. And it's hard because if you get those like last hits where you get sent out of that angle, it feels real bad in the brain. Yeah. Like, it's also like the classic cheese of they they down smash on a platform 
and then they and then you try and punish it, but you're too late, uh, you and they just down smash again. Oh, I'm reliving them. <laughs> yeah, everyone's been there, but it's yeah. one of those things where you just got to learn to get more frame tight with it. It's like uh, you know, like um, reaction tech chasing of Darko. Yeah. And spot dodge shine, and it's like it yeah. shouldn't work. You just need to get tighter on your uh, edge guard, not edge guarding, your um, tech chasing. Yeah, it's but, just yeah. practice time. Yeah, I think. One thing I've noticed, especially like with Kath in the matchup. Wait, hold on, Kai's That was a really smart up to Oh I'm my sure. god! And... Whoa, this doesn't. So, Tish and I commentated the grand finals of Kai's big house smash. And I was Team Kai. It's his own house. Yeah. Thank god. <laughs> Tish kept very kindly reminding me every opportunity he could that the percent doesn't matter in this matchup. Because, you know, Miranda's so good. She gets the hands on you, and it's just. <laughs> hmm. So that was game on to Kai. That right? was game on to Kai. Yes, yeah. So here we go. <laughs> I'm so scared to mess anything up with the stream whenever I touch oh, it. Oh, that's alright. <laughs> I, 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 can, I can handle no, the, the bits good. and bobs if you want. Yeah. Um. Yeah, let's see how this goes. FD is, I don't know. I feel like when it comes to, because I only see this matchup pretty much through like a Fox perspective. And whenever I see like Fox versus Peach on FD or like yeah. Fox versus, or compared to like Falco versus Peach on FD or the same thing goes for like Mark. I just kind of feel like, wow, they just, destroy you in punish mm. you know, as like a fox they destroy you in punish and their neutral is worse but it's like i don't feel like it nearly compensates enough but so the falco, loss of the movement for the falco oh, for the fox uh, sorry. for fox it's just like oh you lose so much in punish but don't really gain that much in neutral you gain a little bit but not that much mm. but, Moran but chose with you, right? uh yeah that's that's the thing with Falco, I feel like it's never nearly that bad. I feel like I can really get behind the people who would say that, like, Falco has no bad matchups, you know? Yeah. The people who say that, like, oh, Falco goes 50-50 with every character in the game. I can see it. You know? Yeah, this this is definitely one where you get, like, the ability yeah. to control neutral. Because, like, any other matchup, like, you don't really want to go to FD against Falco that often. It's just annoying. He just gets, like, the ability to Ooh, okay. to Okay, true, shoot like... Uh, two uncharacteristic SDs by yeah. a crowd on this game. She shook. Kai's yeah. cooking. It's, uh, yeah, I mean, I think this matchup's so, like, it's a valuable place to take anyone just because Peach doesn't do any vertical movement most of the time, right? Like, yeah. you kind of, even if, even though they're losing their horizontal, uh, sorry, their, like, your own vertical mobility or the, like, the size of the stage and stuff, it, like, this is where Peach is all the time anyway. She's kind of just stuck on the ground always. Yeah. And I hate not having plats. Like, yeah. I love plats. <laughs> yeah. Personally, I think that the uh, not having plats is one thing, but the other underrated thing about FD is just it's such a long stage. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's so much space to go back and forth, and so it's like if you have that horizontal kind of control, it can make things pretty miserable. Mm. It is a long, long, long stage. Yeah, because like, that's one of the reasons where it... Oh, yeah, that was quite cool. near there. Yeah, normally you see back there, but like mm. every now and then it like hits the soft spot and they don't get it, but... <laughs> yeah. 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 That looked like it was like right on the edge too. I don't know if Kai's been using back edge. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, this is like a... Okay. That's a hard one. Okay. Oh. We're, we're chilling, we're chilling, we're chilling. I oh, think... It's so scrappy, <laughs> what's going on? I think Miranda's kind of trying to lock in, but it's just not coming. Yeah. That's good. Okay, last oh, suck. Got the laser. Mm -hmm. They all count. That, that is a unique double laser from ledge that you don't normally see. <laughs> Kai's got him loaded. Alright, let's see. I feel like I sat down, really just labbed out, like... I thought they're so nervous. You, oh. don't, you just don't want to go in. Yeah. 
Oh, the power God, shield. that's so hard to power oh, shield. Oh, like, again! Oh, it's 15 frames startup, by the way. <laughs> so that's like literally like right on the border of reaction time. Uh, that's a bit oh, sad. man. You hate to see it end like that, Plus. but um, that is how the strap goes. When yeah. both players are nervous like that, it's always just like, you know what, this is not going to be a good melee for the next 30 seconds. I think that's almost better for Kylo, because mm. like now you're not going here again. Yeah. If the, if you barely clutch it and you come back, like Miranda's got a lot of opportunity to regain composure, to get comfortable again. You got to play on FD for like another four minutes. <laughs> yeah. Oh. All right, let's see how this goes. The stadium. It's a long FD. It's well, <laughs> yeah. FD Junior. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Stadium is even longer than FD. I'm not I sure think, on that. I think it's. I know this is like a bullshit cop out. Oh, oh. it's either longer or it isn't. I know there's something <laughs> about it, right? Well, those are the two That's, options. Yeah. Because <laughs> Coffee told me that. Well, Tish, I think. God, I missed Tish. Yeah. Let's see. What a what a go. Oh, the machine oh, gun coming my out. God. Oh, what the that's fuck? Dead. <laughs> no, that's that's hop, Peach. Hop, hop. She's just hopping. You gotta hit these edge guards. Oh, oh no. no. Oh. Yeah. I like I like the weights. I like the like. Ooh. She's at 130 percent too. She can't really crouch cancel too much at this point. But Miranda like still gets into that situation and just crouch cancels right near the edge. Like that's genius. Oh, uh, smacked. I can respect oh. the attempt at the ledge dash dash back, mm. but it's like you need to be clean on it. Yeah. Oh, they're sweating. All right, they're waiting out the invincibility. God. Yeah, ledge dash dash back is a beautiful option. I love it. It's it's like the most vegan option ever. <laughs> it's it's like, for the pacifist. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's like it's legitimately good against so much because it's just like you can if they ever try and whiff punish like uh, a sloppy um, a sloppy ledge dash, it just mm. hits them so hard. Yeah, I'm gonna try that one. That sounds great. Okay, this or that's it. Yeah, that's tragic. There's, um, yeah, Peach, against Peach, you really, there's a very cool thing that you can do. If you ever feel pressured at the edge of the stage, you just ledge, you just wave dash to ledge, ledge dash, and then run into the middle of the stage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure how well it works on Falco, but I know, like, Falcon and Fox can do it. Yeah. Just because their run speed is fast enough. But it's literally just because Peach is so slow that she can't really chase you. <laughs> yeah. But it's like, yeah. It's like Peach is a slow character. She is. Yeah. She's... Oh. She's just very intimidating. In, like, she's more controlling of the space she's in. Oh, no. Uh, God. Come on. Well, you know, I feel like Miranda had two in game one, and that's like two total, I'm pretty sure, now from Pride coming out that have just been, you know, SDs that. It's just. You were alive one second and now you're gone. And Sometimes like you just really, game it, yeah. you know. Yeah. That's melee. There's no other fighting game where it's just like you can randomly die. <laughs> you miss because, it. Because, because you walked backwards <laughs> into the wall. I guess like maybe like ring out games can do that, but yeah. But like, know. it's it's kind of different, right? There's not many games where you fuck up an input and you like eat 25% of your own health bar. That is true. <laughs> a stock is only 25% of your life bar. I remember that game. <laughs> So yeah, for as much as people say like, oh, like Melee has like infinites or whatever, or like getting gimped is so frustrating, you're only getting like 25% of your life bar removed. It's really not that bad. Yeah, if you let like it tilt you, like... When you compare it to like all of the other old fighting games and think about how much cheese they have where they hit something dumb and normally you take more than 25% <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> in your average oh fighting game God. from 2002. <laughs> Yeah. Some of the modern oh, ones too. I mean, up smash there. Some, some of the tag fight. fighters have touch of death. Mm. The Dragon Ball Z one was just nuts for that. Yeah. Oh. oh he's got him. Oh. Oh. That's courage. Oh! Oh, <laughs> the shy guy. I'm not sure. That's an interesting case where maybe if he didn't hit the shy guy, I think the dam might have connected. Yeah. Oh, does that kill? Not quite. You gotta get this. 
That's it. Oh. Uh, Mark. Good DI. Yeah, I guess she's got all those, like, she's got Toad in there, so the weight's a bit higher than you expect. Oh! You can see Morena completely reading that, too. Oh my god. This is bad. She's just clawing out. Oh. Yeah. Can't use jab to shield pressure. That's, that's it. Yeah. yeah. That's dead. Jeez, that float. That was beautiful. <laughs> Alrighty, yo. So, you're playing Luz? I'm pretty sure this oh. is Kath versus someone. <gasps> oh, is it Caleb? Maybe Kath Kai? Kath. It's Kath Caleb. Kath Caleb. 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 All right. He's got his Falcon shirt. He shedded <laughs> the, fame, the flame sweater. I'm so excited. Mm. Um. Okay. No. Oh my god. Go away. Stream thing. There we go. Alrighty, yeah. So, McLeod goes to winner's finals. Next up we'll have Kath Caleb. Ah, this is, this is good. Winner of that will play Kaiser. Caleb, 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 Caleb. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. What's going on, man? We're joined by Yellow. Mm -hmm. This shirt. You can tell. <laughs> Do you wear the yellow shirt on purpose? Just so people know what your tag is? I plugged my controller beautiful. in and he goes, can I, can I have that? That's my port. I'm oh, because like, it's the yellow yeah. port? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Committed. Oh, my God. <laughs> I respect that. Three I locals a week that. checks out. That's good. Yeah. Oh, so Caleb's playing Peach today. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Ah, uh, the Uniqlo shirts instead of the Kmart shirts. I respect Dude, that. That's how you know you're moving up in the world. That's uh. <laughs> well, they're just like, kind of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For a bit, makes it sound like it was a phase. <laughs> <laughs> We're going for it. Is that how you came up with your tag? Does this predate the tag? Oh, okay. Wait, is there a blue and a red? And a purple? Like, do you have friends who are the, like also using that as their tags? Oh, okay. Because I have no now. <laughs> yeah, it's. Oh, hold on. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay. I'm gonna be locked in. Oh. Locked in, ready. This is. I don't wanna jinx it. I don't wanna. What aren't you going to jinx? Look, between you and me? I reckon this is a big year. He's got a new shirt. He has. You might want to reset it so it's zero. zero. Oh, right. Yeah, we don't want to. All right. Yes. Yeah. So <laughs> you were saying? He's got a new shirt. Um, Caleb has been gaming a lot recently. He has been hitting up everyone. He's just always. Oh. Nah. Bug it. He's seen. I think he can't be like. I think Caleb needs to win this again before I start even when thinking about winning it, right? Yeah. Oh, no, no. That's right. Oh. <laughs> I didn't save it. Oh. Oh, we're just sorting out uh, stream stuff. It just fucked up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. That's cool. Cool. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't know. I believe in Caleb. I think he's time. got it. I think it's he gets in his own head. And Kath really, really loves when you start holding down. You start thinking about like the matchup a bit more and stuff. See, stuff like this, right? That happens and you lose like 10 of your mental health. <laughs> yeah, it causes <laughs> the mental damage. And yeah. she is one of the best players at exploiting that. It's yeah. like... 
I don't I... know, how many, like, how many Peach friendlies do you have to play before that kind of stuff just doesn't give you mental damage? So, I, I don't like... think, I, she's different, I reckon. Like, <laughs> I've, like, other, there's other, there's like other great Peaches in Australia, of course, but she's the one who delights in your misery. Mm. And that's fine. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah. I think it's great. I think Caleb might also be the player in the entire country who has played against Peach the most, though. So it's like... Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. I feel like Caleb is like has potential. Um, oh, absolutely. So to hear that he's grinding is good, but... Have you played him in friendlies much this year? Uh, I've played it, yeah. Uh, is he? I don't know. Oh, he's been pretty deliberately focusing on like reaction tech chasing in the Fox matchup, but... Mm, he doesn't go for it though. But... That's because he's polite. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, out of respect. He asked me to play Fox just so he could reaction tech chase me once. <laughs> I was like, yeah, okay. Uh, that's funny. I was fine with it. Like, I got to do Wake Up Shine, which is very cathartic to be on the other side of. <laughs> I was like, oh, this uh, is great. You just wait until you play Falco. You, oh. <laughs> you spot dodge Shine once, and it's just like, oh. <laughs> I get why everyone goes for this now. It's, it's so uh, good. Yeah. Nothing beats it. What it's do you do? <laughs> <laughs> oh, spot dodge Shine makes you feel so bad in the game. Yeah. Well, having it done to you anyway. Okay. It's all oh, it's all right. The anti ground right. transition on the stop. Here we go. Yes. Oh, he wanted to do that. He went really hard for a double jump into knee read there, but you got to be careful. I've been... Whoa! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, no. The gentlest knees. Oh! Yep. Yoshi's. God. It's just like being tucked into bed. <laughs> a couple of... you got to fold the corners in. It's alright. Oh. oh, no. Oh, no. He did the roll. Find Caleb rolls in real life. Yes. <laughs> oh, like, there's like a long ass ad break on at the moment. I did not know that ad breaks were like over oh, they're a minute long. On it's Twitch. it's you and me and Tish right now. Uh, <laughs> Maybe. Uh, I think hold on, I'm pretty sure Cap. I just wanna fix it. Oh. Yeah. I right. No, that's I don't think it is that way. Is it not? Nah. <laughs> Alright. Oh, it hasn't updated on stream, so it should be fine. Oh. Alright, well. <laughs> I guess I'll just leave it like that. Nah, it's fine. Um. <gasps> oh? Yes? Oh, that's okay, that's okay. I would have missed it too. <laughs> <gasps> St stop rolling, Caleb, in real life. I, s <laughs> I said to Miranda before, if Caleb, like, spent every set halfway through, yeah. if he goes to himself, I love playing video games with my friends, it cleans up. He, he just mm. he becomes the best player in Australia. He's yeah, got... Happy Caleb. Happy Caleb is unstoppable because, like, you guys haven't really experienced Happy Caleb because, like... When he and I first played, he was obviously very confident that he was better than me. And so, I got to play Caleb without any mental burden. Yeah. And as the gap is starting to narrow... Ooh, nice four geez, piece. Yeah. As the gap is starting to narrow, I'm starting to see, like, when he misses stuff in games, he gets more stressed because he's like, oh, shit. Yeah. It gets progressively sloppier. Yeah. But, oh, he's cleaning it up today. Uh, one... Oh. Yeah. Hold on. Ah, uh, yeah, sorry. Alright. <laughs> Please update. Yeah, cool. Okay. I'd expect how to read the roll out there. Oh, no, nah, I gotta up air those. Oh my god. Oh, the soft knees. It's. He's. Uh, know. You know he's hitting. Finicky. Oh, yes, I love, I love that. I think he's got more kills with up air than knee this game. Mm. He's got two with up air. It is good. Like, up air is just so. It's his only quick move. <laughs> 
What I'd like to see from him here is like, I think Kath really caught on to the bomber knee into him, into like into Kath, and then oh, also caught on to run through. I think what he's gonna start doing, like Caleb's gonna start doing, is throwing in like some like approaching short hop up airs. Yeah. Because if you get to that range where it looks like they're gonna grab, you can also like kind of throw in an up up air as a mix up, and it's so fast. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Falcon's down throw of the turn up kills yeah. me. Whenever people grab a turn up, it's just like you know that it's not the correct thing to do, but you gotta play around it, you know? It's, oh, I, I saw the it. stitch get thrown in my set against Kath, <gasps> and I was just like, oh. I have to shine this. I don't care if I lose the setup. We were it. we were going off on the setup. <laughs> we were loving it. That was I mean, yeah. the, the pressure to jump into the middle of the plats and hold shine in place was yeah. just like why? <laughs> <laughs> It's just with a one in a million chance that it hits. Oh, man. Just imagine. We were waiting for it to come back down. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was surprised. I was like, why isn't it coming back down? Because she was standing underneath, like, in between the two platforms. Yeah. So I was like, oh, why isn't it coming back down? But I don't know. I guess I have to lap that out. How does Shining Peach's turn-ups actually work? Yeah. So, howdy. <laughs> Kai is here off to the side. Oh. So, <laughs> damn it! <laughs> I'm trying. So this is this is always kind of rough because when, when when this starts happening, he look at he, he did a little frown. <gasps> he gets out though. This is sad Caleb time. Yeah. And I think a sad Caleb is a dead Caleb. That's it. I mean. <sighs> Caitlin yep. gave me some good advice on this stage when you're getting up thrown by Peach. Is like, don't go for the escape on the edge because getting edge guarded is worse mm. than taking 70 or 80%. Interesting. And so I every time I get up thrown, I think Caleb says, eat your vegetables. Like, you yeah. gotta, you can't, there's no shortcuts. <laughs> you just gotta cop it. And Cat's getting really consistent with those. Oh, yep. Okay. Oh. All right. I'm not sure if that's true. What no, was it, it is, like 20 percent? Okay, nair into up yeah. there. Yeah, instant double jump nair into um, like yeah, instant double jump fast fall nair into re grab or up air depending on percent is definitely true. All right. It sucks. I hate doing it. But that's why I don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I thought he'd back in there. Uh oh, he's starting to get into knee mode. Mm. All right. Oh, oh, uh, I, I like the vision. I think full hop would have cleared it though. Yeah. Up oh, air. Knee nah. from the ledge. He's knee. Caleb is so good at the hack stash, but just ledge tennis afterwards. Please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, yes. That's good. That's better. Alright, if he cleans this one up, I think. We're... And. That's alright. I think. Ben is the... chilling. Alright. Well, yeah. Okay. DI being better there might have saved that. He might have had another shot. Mm. I think that is one of the areas that Kath's definitely, like, the gap between her and McLeod is quite apparent. Yeah. Well, um, the edge guards, especially as Falcon, like, Falcon's a bit slippery, but Miranda, really? Miranda just makes your life miserable with those, right? Yeah. Yeah. There we go. It's all right. Okay. Oh, hold on. No, no. Not, not an extra game for Caleb. That's in my dreams only. Battlefield. <laughs> Alright. Interesting strategy of just running up down smashing. I I appreciate it. Oh. Cats? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No. Look, I think... I think It's like F smash in neutral for Mars, right? Mm. Some some of them's good. You, you want to sprinkle them in. You keep them honest. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, Kath has just hit like five dash attacks in neutral. Yeah. Yeah. It I feels it feels yeah. a lot better than it is. It's not yeah. Swagman said his uh his evolution of his understanding of playing Kath was like, deal with dash attack. Just crouch cancel it or deal with it, like and yeah. he said that was what got him to game five months ago. Oof. Mm, I feel like the uh, strategy of like, I think one of those things is like crouching the uh, dash attack is so scary though because they can down smash. Yeah. But now that I know that you can like CC the first hit of down smash and down smash back, I feel like maybe crouching against 
Peach doesn't feel all that scary anymore. As Fox. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Fox and Falcon. I don't think I Falcon's got anything that gets out in that amount of time. Yeah. I might have to hit the lab because that sounds so, miserable. Like, well, that's the thing. Grab is just as fast, but it's like, I'm not sure if that quite works. Yeah. Maybe. I'm not, I don't know. This one. Yeah. I'll have to look at this because I think I need to figure it out for my own sake too. But yes, beautiful conversion. Nice. Couple Just gotta hit these edge guards. Oh no, the, you can't let the peach back onto the stage. It's just like no. a peach on the ledge. It's one of those things where it's like uh, where <laughs> the Caleb. Yeah. He loves a cheeky little down down special. God. Yeah. It's one of those things where you kind of have to learn the game punish first, neutral second. Yeah. Because you need to be able to hit your punishes in order to weigh things correctly in neutral. Yeah. And so much of Peach, like edge guarding Peach, is such a perfect example of that where it's just like Peach on the ledge should be completely dead. So when you're edge guarding her, the entire goal should just be do not let the Peach back on stage and just completely give them ledge, right? Yeah. But if you're not able to punish those ledge options, then all of a sudden Peach is really good at recovering. She has so many mix ups, whatever. Yeah. And it's just like, oh. it's one of those things where you have to learn the game in the right order. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, I still like find it so annoying when I don't cover the ledge get ups and stuff. Especially from Peach, because yeah, she's just useless when she's like getting out of that situation. But like yeah, if if like parasol to ledge or, or like ledge dash or any kind of ledge options are like even on the table, she just goes up a tier. Like not many characters can sit there for five seconds and think about when they're gonna recover. Yeah. I'm not sure if that stomp back air could have been a stomp reverse knee. Probably, yeah. I'm not sure. Could have been stomp pivot knee, maybe. Yeah. But also, like, eh. oh, oh, well. Bugger. Good try by Caleb. He's still my goat. Mm. Alright. Alright. So, Kath Kai. Kath Kai. Alright, so, something a bit new today. We've got a. Oh. What bracket? What part of brackets is this now? Oh, hold on. Are they both winners? Uh, no. Because Kai lost to the cloud. So, this is losers finals. Alright, this is Kafkai again then. Save Kafkai. There we go. Gotta do the, the streamer thing. Hello again, audience. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Alright. We'll see this again. I like how we got a little we got a little crowd. We do, we've got Oh you can see it on the screen. There's a bit of a Am crowd. Am I putting you off? Them. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay, adjusting TV positions. Are they? Oh. Because the that arm on the chair on the inside oh, sucks. I see. Yeah. Alright. They are <laughs> They are gaming. I like the audience tonight. We've got a crowd. Yeah, we've got a nice little crowd going on. It's, yeah. Nice to have everyone here. Whoa! Cat's throwing paper? I've never seen her throw paper before. I know. I think that's a mix up. Do I have to unlock that? Whoa. <laughs> oh yeah, God. you need to progress to the next level to yeah. unlock the paper mix up. Like, we'll still do rock, paper, scissors, but she'll pick rock. Always. <laughs> 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 Which is, like, usually my bit. Yeah. Oh my God, the straight in. Uh, oh, oh no, I had it right. We need to update the game count. That's, yeah, I am sleeping on that. Okay. All right. Now. <laughs> Alright, let's have a look. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Okay. I love, like, you're gonna take pressure from far away. Now you're gonna take pressure from up close. <laughs> it's very, very dominant gameplay. Oh! Oh! Damn! Okay. Cat's got those. Yeah. <laughs> Cat shouts, I hate you, McLeod, <laughs> into, the, into the audience. We got a peanut gallery. It's, uh... Peach is really good at suicide trading kills. And <laughs> I think she might be one of the best <gasps> characters ever. I mean, she's like, she doesn't have to the most of the time, right? Yeah. But she can if she wants. Just one last stop. It's kind of yeah. like with uh, Ma oh. against Spacey's. Mm. I was yeah. thinking a lot about this in the context of maybe this is a bit too much for like while there's a game going on. Yeah. But I've been like looking at competitive league where it's just like 
there are different analogs for like neutral and punish in that game where it's like punish game is the team fight uh, skill. Yeah. And neutral game is more of just like how do you generate gold advantages. Yeah. Uh, I like that. Like, I really like a, that. Another way of thinking it is like playing the players is your punish game and then playing the map is your neutral. Yeah, like what's, your, um, what's like, your routing and like... I was thinking about that concept, but I was thinking, oh, well, there's no, like, snowball mechanics in the in uh, Melee, so it doesn't really work. But then I realized there kind of is a snowballing effect. You start getting a lead, and then it's easier to get, get like, uh, a, a further lead after that. And it's not yeah. just because, like, oh, you're feeling hot on the sticks, but also <laughs> because if you get them down to their last stock, a lot of characters are really good at suicide oh, uh, getting yeah. kills that they otherwise wouldn't have. Yeah. So it's not that big of a snowball effect, but there definitely does exist one. And when I think you've got the stock advantage, you're incentivized to take those trades. Yeah, and it's also because, like, a lot of the time your neutral can be a lot more, uh, maybe not passive, but, mm. like, you can definitely yeah. just, like, play neutral in a different way when you have the lead. You can just yeah. sit back laser, especially on, like, spaces, yeah. where it's just like, yeah, I, because the burden of approaching is placed onto them. Yeah, and that is one of the areas where, like, Kath really excels, because, like, if you're not going, if you're not willing to sit back and, like, wait, she can just make you feel terrible for it. Yeah. Like, Peach makes you feel terrible for approaching something. Oh, that was a big slap. All right, that's dead. What a gamer! <laughs> Kath's about to start fist fights. <laughs> That's the true grand finals. Adelaide oh. University car park. That was a really beautiful wave dash under up tilt. Like yeah. recognizing the high float. Mm. Getting underneath the peach, it's really difficult to do sometimes, but it, the payoff is so good. Yeah. Alright. Oh, oh, oh. alright. This bobs down and up again. Uh, the spacing on the spacing is so good on those back airs. Yeah. Kai's or oh. <laughs> triple shine grab. Yeah, Kai's really good with the shield pressure. Yeah, he um, I always love when he goes into big long ass rants about like the way that the shield pressure should work. Like it's it's great seeing like the way that he thinks about the game translate. Oh, the soft nair. Yeah. That was so smart. He's starting up again. I feel like the the Miranda games he kind of lost a bit of morale, lost a lot of steam. But he's come into these so hot. I don't even know if he was playing friendlies before, if he's just been... Ow. That's alright. Alright. Oh, that's Damn. Two, two openings in a row where it's just Falco's shine gets outranged and you die. <laughs> that's three times now. It's so sad when you see it. Falco's shine, the range oh. is just so miserable. Yeah, right. MC's made the switch. He's given up on the... <laughs> really? Yeah. He's that's like, so I can't sad, believe dude. I play that dog shit ass character. <laughs> I gave Falcon a shot, but he's even worse. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> uh, but he he so loves funny. the tech skill grind so much. So. Yeah. Fox is a good fit for him. Yeah. All right. He sent me a clip of him triple shine grabbing a moth, and I was like, bro. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> like, you could spend like that much time learning, like you know, focusing on like dash dance, and you'd probably get more out of it, to be honest. <laughs> Yeah, I think the advice from Leffen was whenever your uh, option is to do something that's frame perfect multiple times, it's probably the wrong option. I like that. Uh, I can't remember what video of Leffen's that was from, that's but it was... Holy video. shit, what's the set count? Uh, it's 1-1. One, one. Uh, but, I quite yeah. I think, oh, because uh, Catherine... Yeah, first okay, game yeah. was Catherine getting the big slap into the... Uh, <laughs> that's right. But, um, yeah, I really feel like... I feel as though like double shine is like understandable. Sometimes you go for double shine and the risk reward is still good even though it's a frame perfect input. Oh yeah. And because of the way that polling works, it's like you can never be completely certain that it's gonna hit. Yeah. But like But you do it to like catch SDI and stuff, don't you? Yeah, uh you keep them in shield stun for longer, so it's like it's it's really just a mix up. Yeah. Right? Because if they like buffer if they uh, like, if you just shield grab, uh, what is it? 
there is a video somewhere on why the mix-up. I'm pretty sure there's a hacks video on like the secret to spacey's shield pressure, something like that, that goes over all of the different applications of like double shine grab, and like uh, and basically the reason why hacks is like a really big. Uh, enthusiast of West Ball shining on Fox <laughs> and it's like it's such a cool video because it's just like all of this analysis and then all the end of it is just like so for all of these reasons this is why I think West Ball is shining on Fox is amazing <laughs> <laughs> and it's like oh my god I, I love Hacks, Hacks but that one is to maybe buttons. cooking a bit too hard. Yeah. And then you like watch the, I don't know if you saw the Hacks Money combo video by Luna Melee, oh, where it's just like <laughs> no music, 13 minutes of him just belligerently oh, shining. God, yeah. But you can see it's just like, it's just like another mix up that is like, it's a decent mix up, but it's just, I think it's just because people aren't used to it yet that that's why it's working. But I feel yeah. like it's the same counterplay as a regular West Bull shot. Yeah, I feel like... But the reward is worse. I feel like it, it's like one of those things where it's like, why would you want to intentionally gas yourself harder by trying to just, like, ball out with shines as much as possible? Like, because in a, in a five-game set, especially in, like, a double elimination bracket, if you're just sitting there going Ooh. ham trying to time it, like, you're going to... I don't know, I feel like you get hyper fixated on it and sort of lose a bit of neutral. Yeah. At the same time, sometimes you're just feeling yourself. You oh, know? yeah. No, oh, that's, that's an exception. Yeah. That's fun. That's like, <laughs> you feel like you're getting like the IRL, like Bellatro hand, you know? Yeah. Like yeah. all the modifiers stacking up. It all comes together. <gasps> all right. Guys. What do you do? Oh, you could have shined out a shield. <laughs> Guy just, he's got those double. Like, oh. He, just, he seems to know. Yep. Oh, okay. okay. Cat's hitting yellow on the down stick. Uh, I feel on. like he could have just gone for the suicide dare. I feel like exactly what we were talking about, how the snowballing effect, where when you have them on their last stock, Ooh. you can just belligerently throw out suicide kills. Yeah. I feel like Taco with the dare is actually pretty good at that. And I think he went yeah, for the dare for... Uh, like dare. He could have done it earlier. <laughs> even, on, even on one stock of peace, Falco's yeah. dare is like one of the best. Yeah. Right. Kai taking game two. Or oh, game three, but yeah, second yeah. game. Oh boy. <laughs> right, back to FD. Running it back. I respect that. Uh, Kat's going for the power shields, not landing up. But I respect the effort. Alright. Yeah. Oh, oh, is that oh, dead? Yeah, yeah the yeah. down smash into what was it? Dash attack? <laughs> they all count. Yeah. Uh, Catherine lost to Kaiser in the winner's bracket, so... Yeah. This guy. <laughs> it's the run back at the moment. Could have been I'm me. I'm pretty sure... Could she take me. a game in winners? I don't think so. So I feel like... Nah. She, yeah, she's doing better than she did before. Oh, That's like this a is few a kill. Uh, yeah. oh. oh, no, you don't get back. I think that... I think Catherine might have been able to get back there, but uh, it delayed it a bit. Yeah. I think to avoid giving Falco the hit and then saving the Falco. Yeah. But I don't know. I feel like even if you do end up hitting the Falco, it's just a good position for you anyway. Yeah. I'm, I mean, I'm a big advocate for taking the trade yeah. as Peach here, but oh. mainly like depending on how good you're feeling. Oh, I always love it. <laughs> oh, the feedback was nice. That's, he falls like a brick too, like that. That's, yeah. It's weird making it look so tricky. <laughs> okay. Okay, back air. I like, I see I like that. the little weight on the back air. Like, yeah. Just kind of pause, gather your thoughts. Sometimes Wait. doing that late back air can mix up people's DI. Yeah. I, I don't know why, but I've noticed that sometimes when I'm doing like up throw chain grabs on uh, FD as Fox, and then you like delay the aerial instead of doing up air, a lot of the times they'll have like extra time to think and they'll try and DI it. Or, like, yeah. uh, like DI to the side, and then you just do like an up throw into like a late back air, and a lot of the time they end up not. Uh, survival DI in it. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that's just cheese. I mean, like, up throw back air is definitely a mix up on up throw up air, right? Like, it's yeah. beautiful. <laughs> Makes me feel so sad whenever yeah. I get hit by it. But for whatever reason, whenever you delay the aerial, people have a tendency to DI away more often and end oh. up dying to the back air, but I'm not sure why. Yeah. Alright, we've got McLeod. <laughs> Seven McLeods. Yeah. yeah. 
Hold on. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Maybe it is Kyle on the other side. Yeah. Wait, hold on. <laughs> All right. we'll is that a cupcake? Out. Yeah. Cup Mid game power up. <gasps> Could I have one? Oh my god. I would. I'd be so happy. Sorry, everybody. Just dropped the headset, but it should be fine now. All right. We are just waiting on Kaiser to finish enjoying a lovely cupcake. <laughs> All right. You got to be careful <laughs> getting cupcake all over the headset. <laughs> I'm so hungry. Yeah. Can you adjust the um, oh, uh, press one or two to toggle between the two? Yep. <laughs> Alright. That's not good. Oh, how did Kaiser already get 60%? Alright. Back air into nothing. Back air into nothing. And what happens? Kaiser wins neutral five times in a row, maybe like closer to ten times in a row. And then if McLeod gets one grab, it's so scary. <laughs> Here we go. Is this dead? Yeah. Yep, that's how you gotta play. I feel like you can get so far. I feel like you could literally become like best in Australia with like zero neutral knowledge whatsoever. Yeah. Just learn how to hit people. Because you see like, I don't know, top players are constantly complaining nowadays of like, oh, everyone in my pool can just kill me off of one hit. This is scary. <laughs> and it's just like, oh, that is not at all, even when playing against like really good players, I just don't get that feeling in Australia. Yeah. I feel like Sock is the only player that I've heard where it really even gets anywhere close to that. Yeah. I mean, like, Cloudy's up there. Yeah. Against Spacey, it's just fucking kill. Oh. Yeah, against Spacey's, McLeod is really good. And Falcon. But everyone everyone murders Falcon into the ground. So. <laughs> is this going to be a Falcon is bad complaining episode? No, I... Because I'm so I, I, for I, it. No, I'm actually, like... I, I like my character. All right. I think... Wait. I didn't write... This is Grants, right? Yeah. Graham. That'll do. Kaiser is on loser's side. McLeod is on winner's side. Oh, no, oh the power shield on that back air was nice. Oh, the trying to peach bomber into the laser. I can respect that. Ah, just dropping the punishes. Oh, the movement is nice. Kaiser is moving at the moment. However, it does not matter because the crowd <laughs> gets a single hit and Kai's dead. Alright, let's have a look. Oh, the power shield's good. I wonder if she's meant to, like, trying to go for a down smash is there. Is gonna hit the first good? edge card of the set? Yes. Yes. That big yes, old foot. Are. Hey, All magical right. thing. Alright. Oh. That was, I liked the idea from Kaiser there with the pair, but it just didn't quite connect. Just throws a little, little double shine in, a bit of spice. <laughs> what do you do? Oh, okay. It's so scary when that happens and you see them start charging something oh. and then you notice that you failed your edge guards, uh, your, your ledge dash somehow. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh god, I hope I get good outcome. That's, that's like, that's like a vertigo or something, right? Oh no. Oof. Damn, cooking! I feel like, I don't know, Smash Attacks must have some invisible magnet when they get charged that you sort of just kind of fly towards a little bit more. 
Yeah. Your brain's like, oh, they're charging it. Hit them. But also get hit. My brain always goes to, oh, they're charging a smash attack. I'm going to a ledge dash at them and then shine them. <laughs> and then I ledge dash shittily and then get hit. And it's like, well, I went for the correct option, but sometimes you just get nade-nade on anyway. I love how that's the, that's, the, that's the thing you take away from that. Not like I shouldn't ledge dash into them charging a smash attack. No, because it's like I have Galint. Yeah. <laughs> like I can kill you. If but only I were more perfect. <laughs> yeah. I totally get that though. Yeah. Oh, fair. Oh, oh just yeah. out of range of the down air. Alright, let's have a look. Ooh. I don't know. What's Flutter? This is so oh, scrappy. Oh. Bit of lag. No. Oh, oh no. no. Uh, I think I saw Kai fix this earlier. Okay. Ah. Uh. God. Oh. Okay, we're back. What? That is. You are good at this. <laughs> I just saw Kai do it. Yeah, but that's like 30 menus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's have a look. Oh! Ooh, nice. Got the boot. <laughs> oh, yep. I can't Grab believe. Legend to double laser. Smart. Sorry, you were saying? I can't believe Kai comes here and plays probably close to 20 games against Peach and then he's going to work after this. <laughs> That's mentally preparing yourself for work. <laughs> this is, yeah, this is the, the hospitality of Mali. <laughs> mm. No, it's no. a lot of practice. And it's like, you know, we got cracked Peaches here, so it is really good to have that. Oh, You've got to love the improvement process at a certain point, you know. Yeah. The people who get the best in the world, it's it's the people who feel like they've never grinded a day in their life. And by mm. grinding, I mean, like, it's not like they've had to put in active effort. They've just done what they like. They mm. do that for a couple of years, and all of a sudden, they're good. Yeah. Ooh, all you right. can hear that rattling around mm. in the cams. You can hear the cons getting destroyed by the same <laughs> Oh, I am legitimately shocked Down. that that mare did not hit. Yeah. And the cloud just put my fingers to her mouth like yeah. he wanted to see <laughs> And oh. I understand. That was not fair. I did not expect the oh, down air to hit either. So. Yeah, it's weird seeing rising down air through Peach hit, right? Like, mm. Peach has usually got something out. Do you do? Ooh, <sighs> the down air into up air is interesting by the beach there. Oh. Yeah, it's death. yeah, that's the once they've got you in that position, the DI mix ups there are none. Mm. Falco's just dead. Fox gets the DI mix up because the up B is longer, but yeah. Whoop, 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 whoop. Just such careful pressure. Really oh. I really should start seeing the game, the game like they do, honestly. <laughs> <It's> just <laughs> yeah, just start seeing it like they do. Yeah, what's up with that? Yeah. Is it glasses or something? Oh, I can... <laughs> Double back air. Love it. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to put the wall up. Oh. Oh. Laser jab, laser jab. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful pressure. Zero holes in it whatsoever. <laughs> Alright, running shine. That's interesting. You don't normally see a lot of running shine. Alright. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah, that happens. That's it. What do you do? Up it? Oh, oh! Jeez. Those down air oh. pivot up tilt. It's just beautiful. I love when okay. Falco's falling faster than like the page and can just like c get down there. It's very Dragon Ball Z. I'm only gonna do this because I'm a McLeod believer. But this might be a 3 0. <laughs> Could be. There is. Huh? Yes. <laughs> Alright. It did that flicky thing, but Riz fixed it. Oh. 
All right. How did he know? Mm. Is he listening? Can he hear How us? does Kai see the game so differently to us? <laughs> yeah, was, he's hearing the stream as well. Oh, oh. Kai, maybe. Hello, Kai. You have to keep a straight face now. We're on to you. <laughs> right. Well, back to the game. Back to gaming. <laughs> <laughs> Soft down tilt, I feel like, I'm not sure, but I feel like you can go for a second soft down tilt there. Mm. It works to a pretty high percent, but I don't know. There was a point in time when I was considering counterpicking uh, Marth on FD and by going Falco instead. <laughs> just because Falco has a better matchup than Fox and FD. Mm. So there was a point where I was like really grinding out Falco's... Uh, uh, what is it, punish game against Marth on yeah. FD. And the punish game is actually quite similar where, you know, you hit, you hit them with dare shine, dare shine until it doesn't connect anymore and then you go for those light bit dares yeah. to yeah. get into the shine. They're nice. And it wor it looks so beautiful when it hits. <laughs> uh, it's so, like, I feel like it's maybe one of the most aesthetically pleasing combos because it has such a high range. Yeah. Like, range. There's so um, many ways you can put a bit of, like, bit of mustard on it, you know? Yeah. You can, like... Really mix up your timings. Oh, God. it just doesn't connect. He's, He's back onto it. Oh, oh the shine back air for extra percent. I like it. Any back air here just goes. Oh. Jesus. He's hitting those. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, it's yeah, probably man. not what you wanted there. Right. Wow, okay. Oh. I'm not sure what's happened, but Kai's going for those like ceiling kills way more often now. He, he kind of just stopped for like the last e every set today, I think. Actually, he's usually such a big like up air or shine off the top guy. Miranda's just yeah. <laughs> That's alright. Gets a ledge. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, that's interesting. The up air kills at that percent. Yeah. Normally, yeah, I don't know. I feel like at those high percents, it's so rare that people actually lab out the stuff, like the, the thresholds for things killing when it's those really high percent scrappy scenarios. Yeah. Because it feels like just everything kills, but Peach is surprisingly like, oh, the Nair is like, hits at 150% and they DI it correctly and it doesn't. Yeah. It's like, there's so many things like that where it's just like, yeah, I don't know, not quite Marthritis, but definitely things can get a bit scrappy. Yeah, like, back air as well is quite bad at killing. Actually, most of the areas are... Except for forward air, of course. But, uh, That's close. Damn, wangled it. Unfort. <laughs> Guy stretching his legs, getting some fresh air. Mm. Pacing around. Well, I have to apologize for all of the Kai fans. I did jinx the 3-0. Oh, yeah. So I'm pretty sure that <laughs> is exactly why Kai missed that angle right at the <laughs> I, That was the thing I think I hated most about controllers. was Not the angles themselves, but when you hold your controller at a slight angle and you're just gaming. And so you put the input in on like a slight offset because you're holding where it would be if you were holding the yeah. controller forwards. That was like the thing that took me most, I reckon. I, um, the cons I have at home, it's stick box is like, the angle of the stick box is misaligned with the gate. So oh. it's like, if you hold right in one direction, it's just like slightly on an angle. Oh, and so yeah. it like makes it so that like with those slight angles are just like, oh, you have to go slightly further down in one <laughs> like, and then not quite as high if you want to do the slight upwards angle. You're playing on yeah. a tilt, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Down it's there. got like a secret gyro on it. <laughs> <laughs> it, feel, it really feels like that sometimes, doesn't yeah. it? Alright, shine oh, into... Yeah. Uh, Kai always goes for the ceiling kills. Yeah. But, All right. 
feel like there was a spot earlier where like Moran was about like 80% and he went for down air instead of um, just back air airing her off stage. Mm. I reckon that would have been a killer that point. There we go, that's alright. That's the thing, Peach is kind of like Puff where you either kill her at like 60% or she lives until 140. <laughs> yeah. It's one or the other. That's alright. Got a bit of damage in. That's it. That's it. Yeah. That's nice, just forces the Peach to approach. That's the thing, like, they can go for the power shields all they want, but they have to be grounded for that, and then as, one, as soon as you start conditioning them to be more grounded, that's when things become a lot easier for you. Yeah. That's like... Oh, oh fuck. Alright, you, you do it again. Oh. oh. We're back, sorry. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if anyone else, it would be a tragedy. Oh, oh yeah. Um. Yeah. The cloud is hitting like so many power shields. She's all the way back too. Mm. Still, yeah. like living to 140% on stadium. This is like the stage where you gotta kill them off the top, right? That's why you pick the stage. Mm. But it's like that does not look like it is, follows yeah, up at all. I throw into nothing. <laughs> oh, oh it's so close. Kill. Standard and that's an interesting way to grab ledge by the peach. You're throwing it backwards and then wave dash. Oh, back. she loves that. Yeah. All right. Yeah, peach normally grabbing ledge is like such a weird task for her. It's so weirdly precise. Like trying to wave dash to ledge is like strangely difficult. <laughs> and so all of the peaches do this thing where they have to like. Do like a pivot, like float, float yeah. backwards, drift back, and then grab ledge like basketball. And it's like it's so telegraphed. It's just like it makes the recovering against her so much easier because you can just look at her. And see <laughs> she's if she's, doing, up, she's, if she's doing like the weirdest turn up <laughs> shenanigans. You're like, oh yeah, she's going to ledge. Oh my god, yeah. She's doing some like big anime wind up to like yeah. the most predictable <laughs> thing. <laughs> what? Yep, yeah, see, there that, it is. That back hitbox of the Nair is so good. Yeah. Alright. So look, you've got Peach in the corner. You decide to go for the aerial uppies instead. Nice. Oh, you got a kill. No. Yeah, I think he... He wanted to get to that platform to get the height, but realised... Like, oh, I'm, I'm glad he backed good. off there, because he could have got counter neutral and just died. Wow. Oh my god. This is zero to 35. Oh. I'm still so scared. Oh, oh. It's completely even. Don't, such do long, not look at the percent. Such a long wave dash. Hey! Oh, oh gets out. Cat would have dash attacked that. <sighs> All right, back oh, here, Gosh. All right. We're back in. Grams and out. It's back to. It did. Yeah. Oh, well, you sorry. lose signal. Holy shit! Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's how they knew. Hmm. Sorry? Device drop down, top one? Oh. Yep. If it happens again, at least wait until you hear something. Alright. Yep. Oh. Just straight so, things. Yeah. So it doesn't. You don't see it drop out. Like when it drops out, it doesn't affect you on there. It's when we fuck with it on here. What? It's when we fuck with it on here that it drops out, not when it so disappears from the feed. Sometimes it stops the turning around. Mm. When you reset it here, it drops out plus two. 
Okay, All yeah, right. gotcha. Yeah. Sorry, guys. <laughs> That's a reset. There's a free one though. Let's see. I don't know. These games, I mean, Kai's taking them, but they don't look convincing. I feel like there's a lot of slot going on on both sides, to be honest. The shine turnaround animation, I'm pretty sure, is actually, it's not frame one. I'm mm. pretty sure there is, like, a, you have to delay it a bit. Yeah. It, it's why that, uh, like, shining backwards, if you get caught in the turnaround animation, it can, like, just kill you. Mm. Because it's not uh, frame one. I'm pretty sure it takes, like, three or four frames to do. So the shine turnaround grab, although it looks really strong, it's actually, like, quite slow. Ah, so you're better off just facing the right way. <laughs> just like yeah, you are. Growing. But like, if you're if you're shining the wrong side of their shield, a lot of the time you don't have a better option, yeah. or at least it's a mix-up that you can go for. Yeah. All right. Oh, <laughs> wave dash back. Get a little run up. Oh, the, the strategic triangle jumping. Mm. I'm a big work. fan of strategic triangle jumps. Oh. That's because I don't have anything else on my <laughs> track. <laughs> I got fall, don't fall, wave yeah. land, <laughs> track <down. gasps> Oh, I have taken it, but... Oh. The cloud makes it back. I was, I was really scared for her there. Yeah. Alright, back air walling. <laughs> Alright, down smash doesn't get you out. Kind of full up now, I'm not sure what my cloud was going for. <laughs> I love when Peach does that like. A piece? Oh, oh yeah. turn up up? Yeah. Oh, oh the turn funny. up mechanics. Did that hit twice or only once? I think twice. Hmm. Um, yeah. I'm not sure how turn up or turnips work. I'm pretty sure. Like they, sometimes it can like uh, hit the shield once and then shield poke. Mm. But I don't know. There's so much about turnips that I need to lab out. But it's just so <laughs> yeah. weird. Yeah, I need to spend some time with some turnips. Also, really sort it out. Yeah. It's really contrived to get into a situation like to interact with turnips and sing, like in Uncle Punch and stuff too. Yeah, <laughs> that's the other thing. Trying to lab things out against Peach is just like, okay, I'll set up a save state to do like a Peach thing, and then you grab the controller and you're like, how do I do Peach? <laughs> <thing?"> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. oh, full DI. Oh. Full DI out. That's so far. That was the one option that's... that died. Yeah, that's an angle, right? <laughs> mm. Um. I'm pretty sure there was a bit of SDI th thrown in yeah. there as well because that did not look like the angle where even like full uh, that looked DI like mid stage, like you right? had to SDI out to the side as well in order to miss the ledge. Yeah, or like the lip of the ledge. I can't wait to see that one played back. Mm. Back yeah, back yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Caleb is swagging in the room with you right now. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> they are so scared to hit each other. <laughs> Wait, Nolly actually is swag man. What the hell? I thought you were just some random. It I'm the swag fellow is not conclusive enough evidence for me. Ah. I need to see a birthday picture and a photo of yeah, you at Camp Firefox 
Yeah, we need like signed receipts. <laughs> Who's a fucking swag man? That's a good question. I think. <laughs> <laughs> Don't answer that. <laughs> I saw your fucking thing. You deleted it, coward. <laughs> I saw your post in the Discord. <laughs> a beautiful portrait. Yeah, you're the OG. Oh, okay. Nice to meet you, mate. Oh. Yeah, Swagman is uh, a wonderful person, well known for being a positive presence in the online Discord and being awful in person. <laughs> uh, hey, look, we've got. Is there a no nutted is somehow banned? Tonight. Should I ban it? <laughs> Deny it? I feel like it's just allow it. Alright. Yeah. Oh no. I added a permitted turn. Oh, this is bad. Anyway, we'll tell Kai about that later. <laughs> yeah, I thought that would be a long time. That's strange. It's literally 1984. <laughs> <laughs> We're not doing great, are we? <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe I shouldn't bring this up. Maybe in a different time. Uh, actually, no, you know what? I feel like asking people not to put their tag as come lord. Like a new like a new player wants to join the scene and like wants to have their tag as come lord. It, I really don't feel like that's all that bad. Like I, let people do what they want. I just don't really want to go to bat for that tag. <laughs> like, yeah, I get it. Like you're not making many like. I don't know. Yeah, people are not going to be chanting your name when that's your tag, but I feel yeah. like at the same time, it's like, you know what? If it, <laughs> like, it's literally like all of your friends know you as Cumberland, you have it on your volleyball jersey or whatever. Just let people do what they want at that point, but I, I don't know. So. My opinion doesn't matter. <laughs> it's so funny. Uh, I'm pretty lenient when it comes to like language and tags that people use. Mm. <laughs> but, yeah. It's Oh, we're starting to see the cheese come out, the the laser into uh, <laughs> into F smash. Okay. Oh my god, how many times have we been in a last stock situation on battlefield with a peach and a falco today? Oh <laughs> yeah, on F D. It's a bit scary, but I oh yeah, has just okay. been pulling it out. Yeah. Oh, fair, oh. fair. Yeah. Oh, oh, beautiful. Had the momentum. No Just like I was saying about the snowballing, you can go for that stuff. Last stuff. That was so good. I always love a Elias, like, you know, never leave anything back at shore. Mm. That was indeed a sick finish. Alright, double power here at the start of the game. You love to see it. Oh. <laughs> The Falco just sort of spamming there, praying to God that one of them hits. Nah, I don't oh. know. I only speak English, Malay. Yeah, I can't or say that I know any Spanish. You should ask. I'm pretty sure Heaps knows. Uh, really? That's sick. Yeah. McLeod S. Actually, I don't know if that's something mean, but I'm going to say it anyway. McLeod S. Consonado. Mm. There's like one I person said, just losing it to that right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like heaps is in the champ just losing <laughs> I can't believe they got it. Oh my god. Right. Getting like fucking ligmid in another language. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, it means cooked. Let's see. Mm. The cloud is indeed cooked. Oh yes. Let's see how it goes. But, I don't know, in this set she's been getting cooked a bit more than she's been cooking, let's be <laughs> honest here. I mean, like, you've had, what, uh, four, five games on FD? Oh god, so many games. No, four games on FD so far. And, I mean, you lost to 1-1. One, one. Uh, we'll see how this one goes. Hopefully it's a 50% win rate on FD, otherwise it's a bit tragic. Yeah. On your counter pick, never feels great. Makes me just want to only play the counter picks. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm like a huge FOD fan as Falcon, but 
that's... I don't know. I'm also not winning a lot of games, so <laughs> I don't think it matters too much. Ooh. Oh, god, just getting smacked around a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Just I love that feat. I never understand the FC hate that people give it. Like, oh, it's chain grabbing. Oh, it becomes so much more, like, one-dimensional. But that is the beauty of FD. The game does get so much more one-dimensional when you're on FD. <laughs> and it's just easier to understand, easier to learn. <laughs> oh, no. Well, uh -oh. you know, it's all right. they say up. hate the player, not the game, but... I'm oh, sorry, they hate the... Wait, is it hate the player, not the game, or hate the game, not the player? Hate it's the hate the game, not the player, isn't it? So I feel like McLeod why is... Did I, yeah, why does it sound the other way in my head? I don't know. Mm. Yeah, there's game hate going on. I believe this is, uh, this is what uh, post irony is. It's just up both of them. Mm. Yeah, uh, she is yelling at Is it a back there? Oh! Uh, <gasps> yeah, all the way. Yeah. Nice. Nice little pickup. This is some gaming, honestly. Oh, oh the approaching laser there is bold. Yeah. Oh, 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 wrong. Oh, the wave shine. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, okay, this is true story. There was, oh. a, there was a point in time when I was very new to the game where I thought just like wave shining forwards <laughs> into wave shining forwards on repeat was like unbeatable. <laughs> because there is a lot of players you can find on Unranked who just cannot handle that. Yeah. But. Uh, just <laughs> <gets it. laughs> Happy Kai, angry McLean. Oh, God. That was. Oh, my God. Mm. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> Mid set coaching. <laughs> Fucking can please. Mm. But who are you telling that to? Because I feel like it only really works on the Falco, but like just playing with lasers in the neutral. Like, I don't think that just camping with the lasers is really the best way to take advantage of them. With Falco specifically, because you have the hit stun, they're just such an effective tool on offense. Yeah. I feel like you really have to be using that. Mm, you want the clown to camp. It's hard to camp on, it's uh, <laughs> on Peach because... It's, you the other guy's got a gun! <laughs> yeah, because Falco's got a laser. It cancels your turn it pull animation, so it's mm. like... You can try and run around the stage all you want, but you're a really slow character. It's hard. Yeah, I mean, uh, like, what she's doing more is trying to pressure the action out of the immediate lasers. Which yeah. is why she's, like, holding W, but, like, it's not really that simple. <laughs> yeah. She's trying to sort of catch his, you know, laser pressure, but Kai's also... It's a, it's a cat and mouse game. It is a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> She's got a gun whenever Falco shoots a laser, she can just <laughs> Man, the power shift percent has to be like at least over 50%. percent i would say closer to like 70% or something. Oh, yeah. She... Whenever she's like grounded, she and has the option to shoot. Everything. She said when she started like playing the game, she learned like she power shoots a lot because she treated shielding like parrying. Ah, yeah. So she'd try and like match the timings of everything all the time, which is why she like double parries like Fal Falcon's Nair and like yeah. is just like into it. <laughs> I think when you start trying to shield things on reaction, I've at least found that power shielding just comes naturally mm. because you kind of like you react to things happening and then like there's no point in really shielding it early, you know? Yeah. Uh, it's one of those things where it was actually difficult for me. Actually, recently I've been practicing the. Uh, the Falcon matchup, and one of the things is you want to shield the like Falcon stomp and his knee, but you actually don't want to power shield it because power shielding gives more uh, shield knockback. Mm. So it's like you actually want to have a really early shield so that you don't get the power shield, which can actually be quite hard yeah. when you're just reacting to it. And he's but, got yeah. some, like, because you have to have knees like frame five or something. Right? So you'd have like 10 odd frames from between that and jump squat to like react to it coming out. Yeah. Which is like hard. <laughs> but it's, it's more telegraphed though. So yeah. you kind of know when it's coming. You feel it. Yeah. It's like when the mask's going to F smash. <laughs> yeah. It depends on the player. That's more of a player like. Yeah. You know? the, the good players don't make it that easy. But when yeah. they. The bad players, they let their like. 
their animosity shine through. <laughs> yeah. And this is this is seeds one and two, right? I mean. Oh yeah. It, oh. It's so scary trying to like wave a uh, wave dash shine out of shield against Peach because it's like it is so often the correct option to go against things like uh, dash attack against so many things that she has on shield, even against uh, certain ways that the down smash can hit. But the punishment, if you fuck it up, is getting down smashed and dying. <laughs> so it's like, yeah. One of us sounded like Freddy Fazbear. I don't know, I'm going to say that was you. Probably. I know, I was the one talking. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll cop that, that's fair. <laughs> Alright. Oh, dare shine, dare shine, dare shine. <laughs> it's unbeatable. There's literally nothing to be done. Alright. Hey. Last game, winner's reset. Hey. Oh, like grand finals reset. <laughs> Just shoot your gun. Oh, yeah, you can't. You can't get that. Alright. Oh. Repeat. Oh, what do you do? Oh! <laughs> oh the I love that. Get the fuck out. Unbeatable. Slap. <laughs> like, oh. oh. Weird rising now. That's like, that's a real, a real read, right? Mm. Yeah. Oh, there's so much end lag. Jeez, can we like, bend the ad break? I don't know if that changed it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what they want. The Falco wants you to get impatient. Yeah. Especially a Falco. <laughs> this Falco is... He's loving it. Falcos are either the most impatient people ever, or they just have <laughs> infinite patience and just can't do that <laughs> nah. I think that's the distinction between what makes a net play Falco and what makes a good Falco. Yeah. Just the amount of patience. God, yeah, patient Falco is another, another kind. Mm. They're so good. I think I've said this before, but actually not on stream, but I think Lax is one of the players where if you just play him, like, even in bracket, like mm. the first, uh, the first stock or two, and just play completely belligerently hold forwards and then it'll like wake up and realize oh like if you're good enough it'll basically realize oh i have to play like well against this player <laughs> and then it'll start playing really patient and it's just unbeatable yeah it's so miserable oh my god that's yeah. just crap <laughs> i think that's maybe just like a queensland locals thing though because it's just like, yeah, there's not that much competition there, so you kind of can just play belligerently. Yeah, I definitely notice when I'm, like, playing unranked and stuff. Like, some players, like, better players, like, open the third eye and you're like, oh, I've actually got to play yeah. melee now. Like, you realise that you haven't actually been playing melee for the last half an hour, you've just been smashing controls. Ooh. McLeod infamously is one of those players. You take her to last stop and then all of a sudden she wakes up. <laughs> and then it's just like, oh, I can't do this anymore. Yeah. But it's like, I don't know. Maybe it took her getting to game five on winner's reset. But, God. Or being down 2 0. But she's about to make a reverse 3 0. Oh. I mean, it's two stocks to two. Okay. Well, three piece up airs. Oh. Oh, just okay. dropped it. Yeah. You can tell Kai's kind of like losing his... Both of them. It's just the, the punishes are going nowhere on both sides. But you, like, like that's it. better for Peach. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know. You reckon? Yeah, I guess it goes both ways, but... Yeah, in the first <laughs> couple of games of this set, they were both kind of hitting a lot harder, but now it's so much sloppier. The shield pressure... Kaiser of shield pressure, hitting shield like seven times and then getting nothing off of it. <laughs> like McLeod just rolls out. Lasering into the shield like four times, yeah. just kind of jumping around. Like there. laser, dab, back there. And Here we go, okay. last stock, game last 10, stock, or last game 9. Game. <laughs> this is it. Oh, the down smash on the platform is unbeatable, except for when it's. Oh. Alright. Okay. Kai is not letting her touch the ground. Alright. Oh, oh, yeah, that uh, that back air was telegraphed. You do not want to be jumping. Oh, oh. okay, okay. Take oh, Peter's love okay. that little fake out. It's like the wave dash down on the fox, Good. where you just kind of try and bait something out. Yeah, Cloudy's just holding center so much better at the moment. Uh, 
Kai's kind of like, oh, he's got it back, and then she would kind of like force him to do something to like. Peach on the ledge, no. <gasps> oh, uh oh. Not punished. Oh. Uh, this is not where you want to be. Oh, oh like hitting it. Was he? No. Don't do anything stupid. Just go safe. Uh, take a breath. It's alright. Oh, uh, good jump. Oh my god. He's still alive. <laughs> oh, god. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was an incredible game. Scrappy, that was scrappy, scrappy. so scary. Man, GG's all around. I was nervous. Let's go, Kai. Mm. Woo. Video yep. games. <laughs> Big win for Kai. Oh. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> How are you feeling, Kai? Oh. Mm. <laughs> We're back. That's a that's an all interesting right. shot. <laughs> well, I enjoyed. Commentating? I think oh, I'm yeah. like skeezer cupcake. <laughs> Do you want an interview, Kai? <laughs> I have no idea. I thought it was you. <laughs> Holy shit. Gaming. <laughs> That was very Fuck yes. intense. Fuck yes. Dude. Fuck yes. Fuck yes. Well done. Fuck oh. Yes, cunt. Oh. oh my god. Uh. Uh. <sighs> that was. <laughs> oh my god. I'm fucking stressed Holy out shit. from that. <laughs> oh my fucking god. You guys fell apart in that last that like that crazy. last two stocks was just. Oh my god, that was crazy. <laughs> Did I consider uh, Deca says, did I consider other stages after losing Game Four on Pokemon Stadium? Um, I was thinking Yoshi's, but I, I think I can, I, you can only play one way on that stage, mm. and if it doesn't go right, then you're like out of options. But yes, yeah, yes, God. yes, you yes. played some patient Falco. It was oh so. Oh my God, I was actually full screen as fuck. <laughs> Do you want your box, Riz? <laughs> so, um, yeah, if everyone else could like unplug the Wii's and the TV's to start with, and then we'll wrap it up. Um, oh yeah, right. Oh my freaking god. That is. Oh god. Yay! Fuck yes. Yeah, I'm you so were, happy. Oh, you had some insane punishes, each of you. Like you had some just. Like, yeah, I think it was so. What, I think this is what happens sweet. when I have my like meds really late in the day. <laughs> yeah. Just. Oh yeah, that, that sort of, 4 sort of a five events really hits sort of different. <laughs> oh, I'm not even on five events actually. I'm on um, Dexies. Oh, same. Uh, but, and five events. Um, so Good yeah, shit. yeah, it was um, yeah, I was considering Yoshi's, but uh, I didn't do too hot mm. like the way I was playing earlier in the game in like the set. Mm. And um, as for how I felt about the set, um, I could tell we were both like missing like follow ups. Mm. We were sort of like we would get an opening and then like. It would just drop for some reason, you know, what have you. Um, there were a lot of times where I would be, like, on McLeod in the scuffle. <laughs> and, like, she wouldn't, like, get, uh, like, a reversal out in time. Mm. Yeah. Did I think the double shine on last stock would kill? I did. I thought um, that was it. I was hoping. <laughs> I, was I, didn't, I, I had a feeling it was 2% though. Like, I, I oh. kind of knew that it wasn't going to do it. It must have been close. Yeah. Like, that must have been full side DI because I was... Like she, she was practically in the blast zone when you yeah, hit her too. like well, it was. I know it was high up and stuff, but yeah, it was like one of those things. God. Um, yeah. Video games. Anything else before I wrap up? No. I'm Me. just happy I got one. Yeah. Every now and then I get one. That's uh, that's good. So, and all you need is two sets in a row. <laughs> and like, my mindset the whole time was like, just try and win on FD. Like I, mm. I was like, you know how sometimes like, or not, I don't know, like. When I fight like a floaty on FD, I'm sort of like, oh, I'd be so good if I just won twice here. <laughs> yeah. And like sometimes I put too much stock in that, mm. right? Sometimes I put a bit too much stock in like, ah oh, shit, like I need to win twice on FD. Yeah. But it's too hard. It's it's pretty hard. Like I think Falco's awesome on that stage though. Mm. Do you think it would have been better because you were like pretty close to last stock on that first <laughs> FD game in the first set, mm -hmm. and yeah, I think yeah. Miranda just took it last hit. It yeah. was like very very close. Do you reckon that was like better or worse for the mental? Because you would have then played another FD game 
and um, then kind of if I you had know. still got the reset like yeah i don't know honestly yeah I was, um i was wondering if it'd be better if it was closed out and just kind of fd's like okay that's done we've, we've gone there yeah i mean a little <laughs> bit like that but also like the good thing about playing falco against floaties is that mm. you only have like one or two close stages to worry about mm. so like sort of if you do well on the long stages you can keep going back to the long stages if that makes yeah. sense so like if you um like if you sort of like do all right on fd right but you lose by a stock you can sort of you don't have to go to like like you can go to yoshi's because you have good blast zones there but like you don't have to go to fod right yeah you can go battlefield but it's like the least desirable so you can go stadium or dreamland like or uh, rather yeah. like it's not a big deal to have to like do the long stages because yeah. you're Falco and you need the room. <laughs> yeah, you got space. You need a room. Yeah, I really like the way you were playing. Like especially on um that like on stadium, just the way you were controlling it was like oh much much cleaner toward the end. Like although the, yeah, the punish hey. got worse, but yeah, well we we're both like trying to like play around each other pretty hard and going for uh, the soul read. <laughs> McLeod was like really attentive on my lasers and I was trying to be really mm. focused on my lasers too. So yeah. like as soon as I would like do two really quickly I'd be like, it would get like power shielded and I'd be like, Oh shit, like yeah. I have to do something else. Oh. Um all right, well all right. I got work at eleven guys, <laughs> yeah, so I have to like pack my shit up. <laughs> um all right, peace out everyone, oh. thanks for watching, thanks for stopping by as always. VODs will be on um SA Smash T V on YouTube. You can hit up, hit up those links. And follow me on Twitter, obviously. I uh, always tweet out when we go live. Um, I don't know who I can host. Uh, let me just... Let me see. Uh, Twitch.tv slash... All right, let's see. Um, who am I going to raid tonight, everyone? Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Really appreciate you coming through. So happy I won. Can I just say? So happy I won. Um, but... I'm looking forward to more sets in the future. And let me raid... Um, let me, who's in my following? Let me raid... Let's just raid Twanamata because they're the Oz Smash homie. Peace out, everyone. I'm off. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Thanks, everyone, who entered. I'm at a, I'll see you next time. Peace out. And if you want to support the stream and if you th had a good time on stream, you thought it was really good to watch, hit up that Kofi link. If you want to send me a tip. But for now, I'm out of here. I'm going to hit the raid button and I'll set you free. Peace out. <laughs>